welcome back to The Geometric View, episode 30, where we cover the geometry of consciousness, qualia, microtubules, galactic consciousness, and how it all connects in global electric circuits. But first, I release my 40th song, and it is called 10,000 Legions. We will hear this first in the episode. Thank you for being here. The Geometric View is a Love is Watching production. I'm your host, Buddy James. Strap in. Here we go. Please support us on our Patreon link below. Thank you. What? 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 What?
while he gets situated, I'm going to say welcome everybody. This is episode 30 of uh, the Geometric View, season three, and uh, we this is a global geometers meetup, and we have uh, people shuffle through weekly and uh, do oral dissertations on their subject matter, different types of geometries, um, and how they pertain uh, in an interdisciplinary type of manner to biology, geometry, um, astrology, astronomy, uh, every type of field, uh, neuro, neural uh, mapping, uh, just it's, it's very broad and open because everything is geometry, everything is geometrical. So we really just jump in and dive in and take a deep dive and talk about what's going on um, and how it affects our everyday life, how this affects you tomorrow, how this affects you today, the geometry of DNA, the geometry of consciousness, the geometry of going into the circuitry of the universe and how to stay dialed in to the universe in, uh, in our highest types of optimal flow states of being. Um, there is a simple geometry to it. <clears throat> Life is a lot simpler than we complexify it to be. And you can see that in our conversations here on how it seems that a lot of things are just hot turning cold and cold turning hot. But this episode is going to be, since we're three minutes in already, I should have started at the beginning. Um, this episode is going to be um, about nanotubes, qualia, microtubules, and uh, how it relates to our consciousness, how the DNA of consciousness. This is the episode for the, um, the DNA of consciousness and how it relates to the Doherty networks, the Doherty sets, uh, phase conjugation. Uh, t dialing into the golden ratio, the golden mean, becoming a uh, a golden being, um, wrapping yourself in these strands of golden light, which are available for everybody to uh, to access. Um, everyone, everyone can access these. Uh, some people might have chemical deficiencies that make it harder, um, but some people are more tuned in. But the closer you draw towards the core. And the circuit in the center, the the more you will um, be able to participate as a universal being. It's it takes a lot of uh, a lot of strength and courage and persistence, um, integrity to and responsibility, especially if you have uh, truth to hold and to share with others. Um, anybody who ha has, is a truth holder or holds some pieces of truth to the puzzle, uh, there's a great responsibility that comes with knowledge and the dissemination of the knowledge to see how people uh, can uh, digest it because the information should be digestible. So, Chris, you got a better connection? I think so. I don't know. Can you hear yeah, that sounds well. Sounds a lot better. Yeah, yeah, no, everything you're saying is, is right on target in terms of uh, what we're all here to do, what the reason for all of this is, is we've all got a piece of the puzzle and, and we're all here to work together, right? And that's part of the problem I'm seeing right now is the division from external that's trying to separate us all. It's even yeah. getting into people like that, that are part of the geometric view, which is, uh, it's tragic, in my opinion, that people succumb to this stuff, but they don't understand that it's contrived, right? And that it's not them, right? It's uh, it's external, and it's intended to, to keep us from doing exactly what we're doing. And, and you know, that's why I just try and I, I stay away from it all. I dip into it just to, to keep my worldview informed. I don't live in that stuff, though, right? Because right. you you resonate with that, you attract that. Yeah. And so... There might be... Go ahead. There might be politics going on in the group and other groups that I'm in, but you have to rise above that and just let the incels fight, you know, and I don't care if they try to dismantle the group. You have to be above it and just continue to make the group continue. Yeah. Um, 
And well, what's going to be is going to be. That's the key yeah. to really let go. That's what the release is. What's so important for everybody is yeah. what everybody's doing right now is they're um, they're latching onto a dead system and they don't understand. It's because they need that familiarity. They need the beast needs to to feel like it fits in, like it understands, right? And right now, all of that's eroding, and it's beautiful, right? Because as it erodes, that means that they're going to be reaching out for something else to grab onto. Right now, they believe in authority. Right and technology, um, but but once they see the, the falsities and all that, they're going to be desperate to to have something to hold on to say, I believe this now, right? Even though they didn't earn it, and that's the whole key of what you're talking about: responsibility, work, right? Um, the hero's journey is. If it were easy, there'd be a lot of people on this call right now. Right? Yeah, they, they can't even handle the 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 back and forth, and I'm there too. You know, I'm learning as I go too, but. Um, we really need to focus on the unity, the law of one, right? The, the unity is the, is the key to all of this. And we all are very special. We all have a piece to contribute. We don't all know what that piece is yet. Um, I know what mine is, right? Um, and it's evolving every day too. So um, you're, you're right. Pers persistence and perseverance are the key to everything. And, and moving forward through the fear. Fearlessness yeah. is not fear free. Fearlessness is um, you. Your fears are you determine them to be reasonable, right? And you push through them, right? That's what the the courage, the process of building courage, is really all about. Is uh, you gotta poke the fucking bear, right? If you don't understand why you're afraid of something, you gotta poke the bear, or you'll never advance. Um, and that's what most people need to do right now. They need to start poking the bear um, to see yeah, the kitty cat. Yeah, there's a lot going on in the world, and um, and we need to have discernment, uh, discernment on what we spend our time doing, how we spend our time doing what we do, and um, you have to have a time management to know what is prioritize, what is priority, and how to prioritize your uh, gifts to humanity because that's what we have. Our talents are gifts. We shouldn't be being paid for our talents. We should be being paid as talent. Um, and that's a two totally different things. When you start being paid for your talent, you can be, um, your agenda can be bought and turned into whatever but as when you be paid as talent you are the show you make yourself what it is and it becomes of others into the manifestation of the the, the being that's created because all we are all doing is we are the network now we are our own television shows it's all about cult of personality. So who can climb the ladder and there's different rungs in the ladder that you can't get past without having to say certain things. So um, even in the YouTube world, uh, there's probably some things that people are constantly encouraging people to say. But you see it more predominant in, in Hollywood, people having to say, uh, that they sold their soul or other weird things or have to have a blood bath, a bath in blood on TV, and that might be a stage that you pass at a certain level. I mean, all the signs are right in front of our face. This new thing with Wayfair, 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 that's, uh, that's some, some weird business there. And... Ghislaine Maxwell or Ghislaine Maxwell uh, having a picture with the president there of Wayfair. Just to clarify, there's what is going on. There's a whole bunch of cabinets and cabinetries that are way overpriced and other content, and they're selling it as a payment system third party for trafficking mm -hmm. certain people. So look into Wayfair on your own, anybody, if you're interested in that. Um, there's no stopping, there's no stopping that from coming out. 
buddy. I've been I've been at that for ten years with uh, David Ike and the royal family in in Europe. Um, this is Maxwell's going to be the catalyst, you know, Epstein was, um, but, but the, she's going to be the catalyst to really exposing all these very dark and everybody has to see this stuff. That's the deal. The thinning of the veil means you can't pretend anymore. We're all trying to pretend that everything's not what it is. Right. Um, and that's what really, what this December 21st date is, um, that, dro- that veil is going to drop and people are going to start seeing shit that. They have no context to comprehend. Um, and it's going to get untenable, right? And I don't know this, right? I don't know anything. Um, I know cycles. Um, and that's really what I'm focused on is uh, fractal, the fractal of cycle. Um, and how, what correspondence in the Essene Gnostics, what it really means, as above, so below, as within, so without. And what correspondence and how exacting and absolute it is. Um, if you have the eyes to see and to correlate different um, levels of correspondence, um, one for me being cell mitosis and the bifurcation as part of um, a subquantum process, right? It happens at a, a cellular scale, but it also happens at scales where you can't weigh, measure, and count. Like yeah. that? Mitosis yeah. and meiosis? Yes. It's the primitive streak. And primitive yeah. being prime. Right, the prime numbers. Okay. Yeah, but it, it in my ontology, it, it starts as a polarization, right? The the polarization is um, the the mag, the masculine electric phase that drives the the magnetic phase to pull it back to center. But that polarization is because I've seen vortices, like large vortices, form in like uh, a reservoir. And the way that the, they accumulate, right, is always polarizations and they, they accumulate into a larger vortex in the center. And that's really what the yin-yang uh, is, is all about, is that, that initial polarization um, mm-hmm. and then pulling it back to center and, and that, that uh, standing wave of, of back and forth, which is all numeric. It's all cyclical in numbers. And, and periodic, uh, nonlinear periodic functions. And the three, six, and nine. It's just, uh, I, I can't tell yeah. you how, how incredibly profoundly simple all this is, buddy, when, mm-hmm. when I can get people to actually drop all of their biases and all the. See, so the beast within needs to complicate the fuck out of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, because it needs to make things as complicated as possible so it knows what not to do. It's a very contrarian, right? And it'll complicate everything, make everything I'm saying very complicated. So it'll do the exact opposite. It just wants to get away because it doesn't understand. And so, but again, that's why I'm loving about the, the process that's taking place right now within the zeitgeist where they're losing what they believe. They're all a bunch of lies, right? They're now questioning all of that. And so that gives us the opportunity to start inserting seats that doesn't mean anything to them if they don't do anything with it, right? But um, it's going to have more fertile, a more fertile environment now than it would have even two years ago. And so these ideas are going to become the truth that they are, right? And they're going to replace the lies, and there's no stopping them. It's yeah. a matter of, uh, of how great we can make it, right? But it's, there's no stopping it. So that's what really what our focus is right now is the, the energies we put into the matrix right now are what um, are getting going to be transmuted into this new heaven and new earth. And it's going to be wonderful, right? But how wonderful? It really depends on our persistence and perseverance um, that we exhibit right now. We have to give that, right? That's what courage and hard work is really. It's um, always continuous improvement for the, the whole. That's really what we're doing. Yeah, and people, everybody is having a tough time right now. Yeah. Um, quarantine. I'm, and if anybody singles their self out and says they're not, you know, everybody's having a, feeling a little weird because of what's going on. You know, and that's Just, normal. I'm better at it, dude, because I've been a hermit for so long. I've been isolated for a long time because of my ideas. You know, so it's it's not real hard for me, but again, it's I'm I'm just uh, focused on what are we doing, 
you know, in terms of being objective, right? Like you're saying priorities, um, infighting is a massive no right now. It's just, uh, we got more important. Indeed. Um, that's why we're both here. Uh, you know, honestly, um, there's more to talk about and to discuss. I'd love to hear more about your perspective on, uh, on vortex based map and, you know, what your, your comments on, on Chad's model, um, because that stuff, that stuff really is, is the central, I mean, Marion not obviously is, it's got the momentum. It needs to be the primary focus because mm -hmm. the ideas that we're putting forward are not for this first wave. You know, and the, the first wave is going to be getting acceptance that geometry is the fundamental um, to creation. And after that's more, more accepted, that's when the number part of it's going to come in and cyclical number. But, but really, I think that, that we we um, we'll focus on the the momentum that's been built with the Marion and um, because it's, we need to redefine education. Everything that's what all of this is really doing is it's 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 building the foundation for an entirely new way of being. Unfortunately, it's been redefined, and um, the redefinition of what we're walking into in this next decade is um, the United Nations New World Order, uh, you know, well, section but like, you understand the sexual education, education reform, everything is, uh, is there any way that we can pull out of this and say no? I you know? Yeah. This, I mean, if, if you really understand the, the, the mitosis process, buddy, um, What's happening is is these chromosomes there there's the energy so so much that they don't they can't that's what really the harmonics is all about and dissonance right they can't be together they have to split and so that what you're talking about is going to be created and the people that are resonant with that um, potentiality are going to go for that but the bifurcation means that it's split right and so it's the it's the cymatic process. The heterodyne, right? It's the process of geometrically actually separating into a new geometry. That's fundamentally what's happening at a cosmic scale right now, is where the sands of time are shifting into a new geometry and people are taking their places for the next cycle. But it's not all going to be the same for everybody. I kind yeah. of see it as people that, that stick to the earth and shamanism, right? And are sticking here to maintain balance with the earth. I see the transhumanists following the Borg process. And I see perhaps those like us are going off into um, interdimensional travel, right? But but it is, and, and again, that Trinity is very important to focus on in terms of correspondence too, that it, it has to be in everything to be in manifest reality. It has to have a triune foundation. And so, um, good, bad always has a center. Everything always has a center. And that source, right? And this is what I'm talking about with that, that Trinity is, is uh, a, a polarization. And, and automatically, when you polarize anything, you create a center. It's just, there's, there's no, that's really where infinity comes from. Because when you create that center, you've automatically created two new centers. And automatically mm -hmm. created four new centers. You see the doubling? That's octaves, that's harmonics. It's all mm -hmm. about center. And it's all about the, the best of height. And that's really, uh, Lynn Claire's asking me to, to write something up on that. I'm just like, that's, a, that's the beginning and the ending. The Vesica Pisces is the beginning and the ending. Well, you want the whole thing. You want me to describe the whole thing because it's a process. The Vesica Pisces is the center of the whole. It's the space in between the uh, the torsion of the torus right and so if it's tighter then you're going to have a larger um vesica pisces in the center um but it's yeah it's always there so understanding the center of a black hole or the center of um any system whether it's proton or electron or nucleus of anything an nucleated system there's there's a a center and a radiance outward and and inside that 
inside it, it there it's an opening and closing. And we see this inside of these vessel functions and mandalas and all this artwork everywhere. Um, there is a necessary breathing, an inhalation and an exhalation. Um, it constantly, all the time. Yeah, and at all scales. Mm-hmm. Right. That's the, the real nature of that fractal, that standing wave. Is it's uh, in my perspective, it's all within a unit cube. Nothing exists outside a unit cube, and it's all internally infinite. Um, but it's a standing wave within a resonant. It's a thought. You know, thought forms are cubic and and. Um, That's what we're going to get into. It's thought forms and consciousness. Yeah. Well, that's everything. Mm -hmm. is, it's everything. And I'm, I'm also really keen to better understand this reality is not our base reality. We're not living in Maru, right? This is, um, we're living in a past future, um, service to self, uh, limitation, limited consciousness, right? Stuck in past future, the shit that happened to me yesterday, the shit I want tomorrow, not in the now, that we're, we're trapped in a, uh, an illusion. And well, I'm thinking this cube is, is what, what we're trapped in. Well, it, it, can be go, it can be said both ways that if you live in the now, that can be a trap because you're not looking at the future, you know, or paying yeah. attention to the past as much. But living in the absolute now, you would be both. You'd be all of it. That right. you'd be omnipresent, so you'd be cognizant of the future and the past. So sometimes you're, um, you can take different entheogens, or even if you're just to have heightened awareness, and you can like almost read the future and see people's thoughts and stuff mm -hmm. like that because they're there. You know, these are tangible um, plasmas and plasma bodies that people keep around them. And you get entangled with certain things, and you play with the Ouija board. You have, you have uh, that. Unfortunately, whether you like it or not, um, they yeah, I don't play with anything I don't understand, and I don't understand the Ouija board. I don't even listen to music. I haven't listened to music for ten years, dude. Music? Because, uh, yeah, absolutely. Wow. I'm an incredibly contrarian person. I'm uh, yeah. putting myself into a freak relative to the, the, the herd. Well, um, you I mean, know. I intend to, don't get me wrong, but um, I don't understand the 440 completely in terms of, of why they did that, right? And uh, To me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference to me. My consciousness is stronger than all that, all of ours is, and our willpower and our mind and, yeah. you know, and that's in me too, right? But I'm not, uh, I'm not foolish in the terms that, yeah, that I'm very powerful. But well, I mean, if you hide yourself from electric smog your whole life, and then you go out into a city and you get it constantly yeah. radiated on you, you're going to be a lot more sensitive to it, you know. Or if you yeah. if you um, hide your microbiome in your gut and you keep away germs constantly, uh, you know. Uh, there's a certain sense I was trying to think about saying along those lines with keeping your your body in check. Um, but yeah, you don't want to coddle your immune system. You want your immune system to be strong and connected. No, it's a muscle. It's yeah. a muscle. And that's what, what, what the idiocy is happening right now. People don't mm -hmm. understand all these hand sanitizers and this has been going on for for well over a decade right? oh my god yeah. it's all by design have you, people have you seen any of them any of the yeah, by them i mean like any big politicians or anything use hand sanitizer ever no i don't know i don't look i mean i'm not looking but no, i don't i don't you know I don't ever use hand sanitizer i'm not that you, dumb dude you can you can put it on your hands and then lick your hands and taste that it's poison. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, it tastes it's, like... It looks just like sunscreen, man. All of that stuff. I don't do yeah. any of it. I don't use deodorant. I don't use... Anything that comes from the Matrix, 
I just, uh, I'm like, if I don't fully understand it, I just don't do it because it's absolute. Well, I don't have to worry about what, what I, my understanding of it, right? Starbucks owns Spotify. Spotify has Joe Rogan now. Spotify also bought a bunch of big lineups, big time lineups and um, multi-year contracts because things are going to get real unstable for a while. And uh, I think Joe Rogan did like a six or seven year contract. That should take him through the tribulation if we're going to do it right now, if it's going to be the next seven years. I mean, feels like it's been the last seven years now. <laughs> uh, 2024 is the uh, is the end of prime time. And my, it's been, the new beginning happens in 2024, on your birthday. 2023, oh, 2024, yeah, you're right. April 8th. Yeah, I hope it's a global birthday and uh, we have a good um, global uh, shift on that day. I mean, I turned 40. Sounds like a great day to do it. Very, very important in terms of Saturn and um, Jupiter conjunction. And number, 40. Yeah. I mean, well, no, that's, that's the, the fundamental of the point. All of it. That's The whole thing is 40. I mean, there wouldn't be... 40 wouldn't be the biggest number in the Bible had it not been for 40. 40 days is how you break someone into a new cycle or you MK alter them into or out of a new cycle. 40 days is all it takes. Eight and that person, that person's gone or, or reprogrammed, you know, what for I mean? 20 days for a new habit, you know, it's, uh, yep. you know, it's, those are all cycles that, and that's the nature of everything is, uh, cycles reinforce. Let's see where 40 breaks down into the, um, into the Doherty matrix. I'm going to pull the Doherty matrix up. If we ever get this episode started, I guess we're just kind of be awesome, which is good. But yeah. for the listeners here, let's, um, let's, let's hone in. And, uh, cause we're about, uh, what half an hour in. Okay. But it's good because on the YouTube thing, when I put it out there for the viewers, I can say um, the presentation or the content starts at 28 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. Yeah, so whatever. you can even tag it there, and it's great because people can just click it if they don't want to hear the pre-talk. But the pre-talk is really good. I love things that get the blood flowing, get the mind moving towards yeah. the right directions. Um, so... Uh, also, I think it's important to establish some kind of a baseline in terms of consensus and understanding to where you know, that's been a problem longstanding in terms of overshooting people's understanding and um, to take kind of tailoring the level you, you give. Um, yeah, which is very hard. You know, you don't know where other people are at. Yeah, these uh, are really interesting in terms of uh, the um, the expansion. I think I showed you uh, digital root expansions of the odd numbers um, and the doubling pattern that, that occurs in this too. The, the octave doubling. Uh, um, yes, I'm sending a message real quick, um, a text. Uh, it is octave doubling. The entire thing is periodic cascade doubling, periodic cascade doubling almost pretty much. And it all starts with this first fundamental filament. Everything's wrapped into and out of this first fundamental filament. From there, things start to get weird. And then they unwrap and unwind out of uh, one, which is actually zero, out of the center, which is hollow. Mm -hmm. So every single beginning of a Birkeland current is on is an odd number. And it's all the very, it's every single odd number and also every single prime number um, I was going to say, that's the important part about it is it's not just odd that every number except two is prime. Every well, that, prime number is odd. Right. Two, two is weird, right? Because it's it's a it's a um, it's an even number, but it's the only even prime number. But you need the three to start it. That's why you're talking about the three generative matrix, okay. the trionic braid. I mean, nine soft lines up in Kabbalistic terms that the pre. And I really see it as 10, 11, 12 is, is what iron 9 soft iron software are. Well, let's see where 40 falls in here. Okay. Can we find 40? Here's 40. All right. So 40 is on the third, mm -hmm. the third Birkeland current, the third off of number three. There you go. 
third one off of the filament. And this is also the first filament. And it's, it's, it's actually, it's the third Birkeland current because there's an infinite amount of Birkeland currents from every source. Mm -hmm. So I'm breaking the science down to people because they need to know. And it breaks down systematically into spheroidal, spherical packing, fractal lattice, spherical packing along um, uh, the 12 directions of the isotropic vector matrix. Uh, they expand out 12, but they come to a plane because they sandwich, the charge sandwiches, so as to conserve energy into um, a disc, a rotating disc that people call uh, all sorts of different things, the galactic plane, the solar, the helio, pause, the whole, uh, sorry, there, I misspoke there. Um, the, what is it for the solar system, what the planets are on? Either way, it's a plane. So there's all they all they all condensate down to a plane and a um, inside of a, a solenoid or a cylinder. So it's all cylindrical geometry, um, uh, which is ultimately all toroidal, tube toroidal, cylindrical, same thing. But what happens here is is I can break this down and show you every individual strand inside of the Doherty network. Um, and how it relates to uh, seeding life uh, seeding life in a bunch of different filaments uh, I'm looking for a certain image bear with me here I thought I had the geometric view open All right, whatever. Okay. Do you have perspective, buddy, on uh, a golden mean spiral in juxtaposition with the crystal spiral with this first line of the, the doubling? The golden mean is, is the only way that things can expand off of a center. And the golden mean is central to every single axial spin and axial aligned toroidal node network that's helicoiding off of the center. So it's helicoidal, it's spiraling off of the center, the rheology or rheometry of it, the flow geometry of it is all helical and wrapped up inside these, the only way, so it's like, it's like phi is water, phi is the juice. That only that is only there as a lubricant to allow the system to expand. It can't expand without using phi. That's like um, the uh, fine structure constant. The fine structure constant is deeply involved in uh, Euler's number and how nine. Euler's number nine is the fine structure constant, buddy. Well, there's a certain actual number for the fine structure constant, but yeah, yeah nine might be it. My, nine definitely might be That's it. That's scientism. What's that? That's scientism. It's nine. One over one thirty-seven is nine. It's it's uh, oh. Genesis one eight is the alpha and the omega. That's all it's talking about is the, the fine structure constant and binding. Binding yeah. is religion. Binding. That's what religion means. Oh, binding. They bind. They bind souls. Binding. In the etym say, etymology of the word. Did you say binding? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Interesting. Because I've been, I've been thinking about looms and things looming large and binding <laughs> and gates and how and, they open and the dream weaver and the the center of the toroid, the throat, the throat of the torus. I had a guy over here yesterday, and he didn't even know that Taurus, most people don't, which I, that's fine. A Taurus is a donut. Yeah. You know, most people think it's a zodiac sign or whatever. Well, they, the, they definitely don't understand that by bull means for a car. Taurus. <laughs> for a Taurus. Taurus. Yeah. And the Torah in Hebrew mysticism is wow. a Taurus. Yeah. Look it's at that. Bull. Yeah. Um, it is a you, horn. It's Moses's horn. Have you heard of Have you heard of 
the Mossad and the Black Cube? Oh yeah, no, it's, the Cube is all three religions. It's central to. And this is why I'm coming at with the hack. And the Cube is Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are all fundamentally centered in the Cube. And Buddhism, Hinduism, all of those are fanciful um, mysteries, right? They're not part of our religious construct um, because they hold truth. Well, right. Well, okay. All I wanted to say was um, the Mossad is um, an intelligence operative, uh, an intelligence organization, or was, and uh, and uh, helped Harvey Weinstein quite a bit um, to get off of his legal char his charges against him um, to interrogate uh, some of the ladies that he was involved with. They hit. They that's, that's to try who to, Epstein worked for to try to pick up dirt. Oh, that was his job. Oh, he was, uh, okay. Yeah, he, he's the one that, that got people in compromising positions. Everyone. See now, whether people did certain things or not, you you can easily be um, set up okay. and drugged, and someone can bring in a minor and take a picture. You know, either way, people can be set up, whether people do bad things or not. You, when you get to a certain level, the the corruption swallows you in, you know, like Buckminster Fuller's quote that I think you posted. Um, Careful if you ye play with the uh, evil, yeah. you'll be quick to uh, be yielding the devil's sword along those lines. That's why the the now is the is the secret, right? Is that's all all of that that consciousness is out of now. Right now is all that really matters. And what we do and now, what we think in now, and what we choose to do, what we choose to conclude with what we think, and what we choose to do with what we choose, right? Is yeah. uh, all that matters. And if the attention's put towards a certain direction, and everybody's attention's looking that way. Whether it's happening or not, a lie builds a reality and makes yep. people believe it. And the more, um, uh, what is the what is the word? Memes build echo chambers and They're towers. They're called egregors. Um, everything build, egregors. everything is building echo chambers right now. They're 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 filling up voids and space and taking the children's time away from them and us adults taking their time they're about to ban tiktok because there's really horrible shit on tiktok if you know no, my daughter's it. on it and i can't i have no control here yeah you can't control the kids because they're they're being controlled by uh chinese spyware uh mm -hmm. so this i had a vision that they were using it to treat all of these, unfortunately, all of these larger corporations are being taken advantage of, whether it's part of the corporations or not. But it's for cyber uh, uh, trafficking, oh, yeah. the biggest companies like Google and Apple are running the most cyber trafficking. But that just makes sense because they're the biggest companies. The numbers are going to be the biggest. So. It, it's always a numbers game. It's always a statistics thing. Anything can be painted white or black. So we need to realize that that uh, what we what we want to help people understand is you have to have discernment and and be able to step away from some of this stuff that is noisy or is is loud and get some silence and hear what the silence has to say because anything that seems like it's trying to get your attention like look over here right or demanding or like right. like or to scare you overbearing something if something's overbearing and forceful trying to force you into a certain situation you need to be aware of that because um you have to have your spider senses out right now. Spidey senses. It's a it's a strange place out there, and all religions. Agendas are rampant, dude. All religions are trying to claim 
a place and a domain and not only all religions, all companies and there's light and dark and all of it. And it's all happening. You know, you, you can see it on the news. All you see on the news is you can't see it on the news. I'm sorry, but you need to focus because you can see it. You, the you, you have to look between, right? You have to look behind, but all the truth is it's in the news too, right? It's with the lies and the obfuscation and the omission, because that's the nature of, of, of how we're deceived is the truth is always in there. You just have to be able to see the lies and filter them out, focus on the truth, extract that part and move on. So but there's it's always in there. If you look here, Chris, I'm going to show you a little secret here that I've or a pattern, I guess, that showed up. If you look at this system, the third one out is five. The, the, the third filament starts with the number five. Okay. This is might be why we're in the um, pentagram, pentagon, pentadactyl, pentafractal, um, uh, penta, penta hands, penta, penta body. We're in a pentafractal, so we have to realize that. Okay, so controlled by the Pentagon. We're held in the Trinity in the third, and the penta, penta in this in this cyclical um, pen, hierarchical penta uh, uh, penta of emotion penta structure. Okay, it's a penta structure that I'm going to teach you about right now, and how these enveloping Birkeland currents wrap around each other to create living forms out of zeros and in a, in a penta system and a penta helical uh, uh, four dimensional structure. So the fifth element, fifth, the fifth off of the center, fifth gate, inside of the fifth circle off of the center of the Doherty set or the Doherty network, you have 10 is the next nested one because it doubles and you have 20 then you have 40, then you have 80, and you follow that out, okay? I'm already up to trillions um, down here. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's not going to be long before I'm up to a really, really large number. Um, but I'm already up to the trillions in calculating this system of the Doherty network, and this is to toroids, nested in toroids. Now, I keep going, and I wanted to show people here that there's a certain number that everybody freaks out about, and this number is 144,000. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, and the 72,000 and the 36,000, those are all very, very important to yep. the Pythagorean triangle. Look at how they nest inside of the um, the 563rd filament, mm. which would be. The, which would be the the one thousand one hundred twenty fifth circle off of the center of the Doherty network. It, you net you go inside that hole or that that gate, and and you get into this network. You go into that one, which is the next toroid. You get this one. You're going down in the center more. So you nest one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fold. Sevenfold into the uh, 563rd filament, and you're at 144,000. So look at what, that. What does that number mean to you? Um, everything is, it, everything is, um, the Doherty network. I've been told by mathematicians that I have been working with and working with and. That it is the uh, the computer code for the universe. So it's like what um, uh, we did an episode about. Oh, what was his name? Laplace. Uh, Frederick. Ah, uh, oh, I forget his name, but he he wanted to transform. do. He what? What's that? The plans for the Laplace transform. Uh, no, he, he, this guy had an, had an I idea and he built the first computer. He said that we're going to build a computer that will be able to tell the truth, everything. It be, it will be a truth machine. 
and we're we're working towards that as a as a collective as a species right now <laughs> and, and we have to go through the network of the doherty set in order to get to the next places in the universe it's not a game about traveling faster than light it's a universe game and and about when i open when everybody starts to play the universe game which is this and we start filling out this spreadsheet together and we start showing how these are um these are oscillating uh and expanding and contracting a gyroscopic uh different uh platonic solids and uh there's a certain word i was looking for but these platonic solids rotating like plato said um and about the universe being made of these spinning platonic solids, it's true because they create, when they spin and then they nest and spin, they create sub harmonics of the harmonics and then they create harmonics. And yeah, because of that expanding process is mirrored by a contracting the, the semitone. Absolutely. The they're mirrored by the semitone simultaneous. Yep. And there's a construct, there's a, there is a um, harmonic integration and harmonic disintegration of information and space constantly. And that's all, all right. taking place through numbers, buddy. And it's, yes, the whole thing's, that's why we can have so many living creatures in the universe and on the earth, because each one is a filament. This, literally, this number is, is a gate that is 1,507,321 uh, uh, R, one over R squared out from the center, that creates one torus. This torus filaments and breaks into a paired filament. Oh. So the number is not one, it's two. That's the second division. Every number is two. Every number is polarized. That's what's going on. And every number is polarized because there is there is a male and a female to it. And we know this. And that's why the sex, that's why everything's, when culture disintegrates and the collapse of a culture, every time on the fringes, people start to become a unified sex and you can't tell the difference between male and female androgyny reigns supreme and and not only during civilization collapse but but transitional periods too so like when you look out and you see the sex division of a red cardinal a male and its female counterpart that is this number right here, hypothetically. It's one of these numbers. Every single creature is one of these numbers. And it's dependent on the creature before it, the creature Absolutely. after it, and the it's creature the creatures around it. Yeah. And the whole system. And the whole system. Yeah. So the the there's a certain there's a certain number for, for apex predators. Every apex predator has a certain number to it. And it could be closer towards the central filament of the the initial bifurcation, the Hop Hopfian bifurcation off of the subset of the initial Birkeland current. Because you can't live too close to charge. Charge has to disintegrate and reintegrate. Yeah. So in order for the circuit to break down and charge to integrate and recent reintegrate, it we break down as cobordisms out cobordisms, cyclical cobordisms out here, where where we are in a lofty position with many creatures around us in order to subside out of necessity. And that's all like a, a localized resonance, a sympathetic resonance. And it all, all these numbers are 100% in tune. When you get out to a certain filament out here, they're 100% they're in tune with the Schumann cavity and the Schumann resonance. It can't go out of it because it's part of the circuit. All right, well, that's the same thing with the sands of the cymatics, right? It, it goes where it resonates. When a creature comes into existence, it's because the number, the number paired and, 
and and was able okay let's just say for instance um this creature would go extinct this creature can only go extinct if a b and c go extinct categorically along or you know what i mean I, this is just example hypothetically this creature this this paired filament this paired filament and this paired filament now we know that for a fact that yes, when you I take do. away apex predator all these other creatures disappear and it becomes a mono um culture a monoculture which turns changes all the numbers of all the other creatures around it so it's not a universal universality it's localized universality that we're dealing in inside of the currents we feel like we're universal creatures because we are but we're in tune with the larger circuit that we will never be fear. able to interpret it's fears the larger circuit fears. we call god or the source and that that's why when they say when you go to heaven you're going to spend eternity learning more about this source because every all creatures are spent that's what we do that's, that's all we're here happening. we're just here for a, a condensed session of learning this is what what um experiential why we're here is because when you pass you still have desires you still think but you cannot satisfy desire and you'll never grow through mm -hmm. thinking alone that's just spinning wheels you have to come and experience you have to think you have to conclude, you have to choose, you have to do, and that's the only way you really learn, right? That's the only really way you advance and become more is through the alchemical process of, I like the analogy of annealing, where you heat the steel up red hot, you take it out, you bang on it, you, you quench it, right? You change extrem temperature extremes, um, and it makes the, the, the steel more durable, hold an edge longer, right? That's fundamentally why we're here is always continuous improvement of creation and yeah. but 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 a focus on the whole not the self and and we go through these cycles of the fall and it's just the same thing you know everything is fractal um the fall of man is the same thing as the sun setting at night and going through darkness right it's just a much bigger scale that everything everything has that essence inside of it a, a, a minute has an essence of 12 inside it has 12 um energies inside of it um that are fractal to the to the hour which are fractal to the day which are fractal to the cycle of the sun you know and, and it all it all follows us and we're just in that a cosmic cycle right now where uh, a galactic sun is rising and we're remembering yes and then we'll fall again right yeah. well that's what structures are for that's right. why Electric Universe Architecture exists as a Facebook group, you know? That's why Electric Universe Geometry exists, you know, because this is all electric and we need to show the electric circuitry. And take take it, do, act, yeah. be. Yeah. This is exactly. for us to share. This well, is this a, is truth. And, you know? And that's what you're saying. Here's truth. Take it, <laughs> do, be, but be with truth and not belief because the word lie is in belief for a reason i don't need to you know what i mean i don't need to sh make people believe this no it's there yeah. number like what do you say number as uh being number as number is know? essence number is number a god essence. that's how you say it yes chris that's my that that is it because zero is essence ultimately oh, yeah. When you figure out, when you break away from the chains of everybody else mm -hmm. and, and all things and you reteach yourself and you die and you and you're reborn, you have to give yourself completely up to the universe. It teaches you about these strands and mm -hmm. how mycelial networks work. Because really, literally, mycelial networks are cooperative and we have to be cooperative and we have to we have to be taught to be um symbiotic and work in synergy with each other yep. we have to a symbiotic relationship is one creature working with another creature in harmony and they subsist and subside due to each other like when the turtles and the whales show up in weird spots in the ocean for a cleaning yep. the, the geometry of 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 cleaning and 
uh, grooming yourself and being groomed by other animals and creatures like your teeth and, and the ocean. It's the, the geometry of being clean. It's mm -hmm. sustainability. Well, it's perfecting if geometry. If we could do the geometry of that on the next episode, that would be so awesome. Dude. <laughs> Like, because all creatures clean themselves. Watch them. They yeah. spend about 80% of their time cleaning themselves. If, if, if hippies want to say, I like to be dirty because nature's dirty, go take a look at nature. It's cleaner yeah. than you think. It's a lot cleaner yeah. on all scales. Everything's cleaning something. Yeah. So what are you cleaning? Yeah, well, that's perfecting. You know? Are you cleaning your dome, your domicile? Are you cleaning your friend's place? Are you doing pro bono work and cleaning the church? Are you cleaning larger facilities? Do you take care of stuff? Take care of your car, clean your car. These are basic fundamentals of human and nature and how nature works. They clean their their bed. They clean their nest. They clean they're, their... They're responding. Food. Everything. They're responding to nature. They're being yeah. responsible through responding and, and a lot of people do not respond. They repeat, they parrot, right? They, um, they act out loops that aren't theirs. Whereas you're creating loops that are uniquely yours and they're, they're a representation of, of uh, <laughs> the eternal, right? They're the inside expressing on the outside. It's, it's an eternal gospel. Mm -hmm. If you look in Revelations, there's something called the eternal gospel. Mm -hmm. I didn't write it. Nope. I'm showing it yep. for what it is. That You're this is literally, this is literally an eternal gospel, the way in and the way out. And it's narrow as fuck. And there's 12 gates. There's 12 pearls around the center. Mm -hmm. There's, all these systems come out of this simplex, the super geometry simplex. And hey buddy, fundamentally what that 12 is or what that 144,000 is, is the 12th term in the Fibonacci sequence. That 12th is the maturation is what 12 fundamentally. And there's, there's maturation points before the 12, right? But the, the 12 is the largest maturation before it recycles. Let's see where 12 is. Okay. 12 is in the, the second filament. The second filament, it's almost like the first and second don't exist. They're in utero. They're uh, uh, developmental. Actually, I'll go so far as to say that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 don't exist. It's, well, you had it right the first time. The, the 1 and the 2, because Fibonacci does not activate until you divide uh, 3 by 2, right? That's not... Before that, you're not using proportions. Of, you've got one over one. You've got one over two. Then after the two is when you you start maturating towards the 1.618. It's an attenuation process. It is. It is. And in the seventh, it's actually the sixth off of the gate. The sixth um, is where uh, matter starts to condensate and materialize out of uh the the center here that's six. bifurcation that's, six this that's is the center of bifurcation in 69. this is six this right is here the inverted mirror yep. circle out of the center the sixth circle out of the center is how um electricity concatenates and condenses into a uh um a condensate and we start to become uh visible matter but it's, it's even more deep than that because visible matter only starts to show up at a certain points inside of the vortexture of each wavelength. Mm -hmm. Each wavelength is subdivided into phi and, and is the grease and the juice that, um, that pushes, swallows, envelops, and, and, and literally thrusts every wavelength into being because there's uh, the the by uh, um, phase conjugation inside of every single wave, and and the the generative vortex, which is right here, the generative vortex is at the 
wave, the beginning of the wave peak, which would be the future, and this would be the past. So future light cone, past light cone. It's now light cone. Now. The now is lit up. Mm -hmm. and the future is pinched off, and the past is pinched off. And that's how it works everywhere in the universe, because it, the circuit, circuitry has to move and work, and it has to pinch itself off. So these pinches is what we refer to in the mainstream as the Higgs boson or the God particle. It's the part, it's the point at, at which all matter and all motion has to move through. Um, so we, we, we thought that it existed, then we realized it had to exist as a mechanism, and then now it exists. So the Higgs field would be the whole thing. The Higgs field is the whole entire network. The Higgs boson would be these individual pinch points, which exist right inside of number seven, the seventh gate off of the center. The seventh gate off of the center is right here. And it has this lensing overlapping that, um, that transitions the phase transition of, um, of where the pine cones kiss noses like Dan Winter talks about. But it it is, coming out of a point source so it's always um working utilizing and braiding the electromagnetism into a filament um so this would be electricity and magnetism is a larger grid system that's out here magnetism is actually a wavelet and i can show you where magnetism is maybe on a different episode or something but it would be cool to get into the geometry of electromagnetism inside of the Doherty networks so people can understand where I'm coming from so they can see that these um, uh, what's happening here is it is um, what's the word undulating or perturbing it's a perturbation in the ether that's what light is recursion, but, recursion I think is also important this is the perturbation in the ether what was that Recursion, I think, is also important. The uh, perturbation, the recursive element of it. Oh, you can I don't think you can have recursion without some sort of uh, perturbation in the system. No. For sure. Yeah, it, it initiates the recursion. You got to have yeah. a beginning to recur. I mean, look at this unicorn droplet of yeah. uh, of the same. Uh, this is the Mueller fractal. When you look up the Mueller fractal, it's it's what. Uh, when we went into this on a few different episodes but this was top secret for like 20 years or something like that in Russia and then it came out um, and it's global scaling and uh, and it's great it's I, I think it's the same guy that does yeah the Euler scaling were you on that episode Chris let me see Maybe I can show you something here. Let me just pull it up because this is uh, this is important. And don't think we forgot about what this episode's about because here's nanotubes, here's qualia. We've been talking about consciousness. We've been talking about grabbing into the grid, reaching into the grid, becoming a universal being, a universal creature, how successive creatures nest. So we're going to get into the Zitterbewagung of it, um, which is a German word of the, the very fine zoo of particle zoo of popping into and out of existence, things popping into and out of existence, particles. But what that is, is those things that are popping into and out of existence really rapidly are just lenses, spherical lenses that are bending the, um, bending materiality into existence off of this, this system that we've been showing here uh, that that is the grid that allows for sound to cavitate and create creatures out of the helicoids that are coming from the center of the sun because this is um, magnetohydrodynamic geometry so super I like the lenses part of it do you uh in terms of the mirror aspect of lenses, do you speak to that? That's a big part of where I'm coming from um, with what past and future are. They're actually, um, they're mirrored from the now. They're mirrors of, of the present moment. Yes. 
see well this would be <clears throat> this is a solid moment in existence but the moment is in superposition it's not only in right here it's in 12 different positions from every single source radiated outwardly in the isotropic vector matrix okay so if you could if chad were on um or someone were on i could explain to them that they could design these uh fish which is the logo for love is watching um the nested fish which if you count them one two three four five six seven that's seven flames coming off of the seven bowls of uh and seven tubes of oil that grease the this is the candlesticks this is literally the candlesticks that's where seven days of the week come from so that's where the seven sorrows of mary magdalene come from the yes. seven swords stabbed in her heart amen yeah you can keep going yeah you know you know a lot more about a whole bunch of different stuff about this stuff you know and like i just i see what i see about it and i'm glad i can talk about it and then i see what other people say about it. i love hearing different people's perspectives yeah, it's a tapestry. That's what really what we're here to do, buddy, is we're here to, to bring our piece of the puzzle, put it on the board to um, add resolution to everybody else's piece, because that's the nature of, of uh, what I've been doing for the last 18 years of searching for unknown unknowns. Once you find something you didn't know you didn't know, you now know you don't know it, right? You still don't know it, but you find other things you didn't know you didn't know that now you know you don't know. And you see the connections between things you know you don't know you get enough of them and you start forming resolution right to where yes. well shit now i kind of know this because yeah. i've collected all of these unknown unknowns that are now shit i know i don't know right <laughs> but well, i know how they're connected and, and it's the geometry is when the the truth speaks for itself is the only time you can really connect these things is absolutely these are connected right it, it's the the format of number and geometry that speak through time yes and that's why we see it in the cathedrals and in the geometry and pyramids and different things like that <clears throat> their messages in a bottle yes um now to go back to the perturbations and the ether because that's what nikola tesla said that's what light is mm -hmm. That's what electricity is. And when he looked at the sun, he saw counter rotation, this system going this way with chirality. Then he saw the system going this way with chirality and that way with chirality. When you look at the sun, it oscillates between uh, cyan and magenta, blue and purple helices yeah. when you, uh, around the corona of the sun but you have to be careful to look at it when it's setting you know and don't look at it for too long because you don't want to have permanent eye damage yeah well if you believe that then that's what's going to happen right well yeah don't yeah i, I tell that i, I tell that to people i stare directly at sun and don't do I'm, it right? i gotta because be careful if you believe it. it's going to do something to you the nocebo effect is very real oh yes yes the nocebo effect and the placebo effect yeah it, it is really strong. You can think that something happened to you, you know, and that, that, that's the, that, that's the power of all healing, buddy. Is um, all healing is 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 possible? See, that's the one thing that the individual you can't control reality outside you, but you absolutely can control everything inside you with with what you believe, because you're a microcosm, right? You you experience outside through a collective belief system. But your internal subjective truth defines your health. Indeed. I would. <laughs> it's, uh, well, think if think of the um, the shrew, the blind shrew that has the uh, the feelies on its nose. Do you know what I'm talking about? There's no, a but I'm loving it. I love how you you connect nature. Yeah, there's a mole that. It, it can't see, it's oh, constantly yeah, okay. and and it has these uh, tentacles on its nose and they go out and they feel. 
-hmm. Its entire world is built on those tentacles. Mm -hmm. Its entire mind is built on those tentacles. What it's, how it builds its brain is from those tentacles that are coming out of the nose of this little rat huh? or uh, bull, blind bull. Let's see if we can get one right here. Boom. I know I could pull one up pretty quick. Thanks, Jamie. No. <laughs> Joe Rogan. Hey, Jamie, can we get a picture of this? <laughs> hey, Jamie, can you pull this up? <laughs> um, look at its entire umvelt or worldview, entire brain, everything is, is seen and experienced through these electricity, and it feels the ground and taste, and, and everything is built basically similar to a mouth or a nose. Kind of like I think it's a nose. It's an huh? extended nose. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mother Nature's just so um, But what I wanted to say is, yeah, we all build our own worldview like that when we tunnel through our our uh, Google search or YouTube. Yeah. And unfortunately, they build it for us now. They tell uh -huh. us what we're going to eat with the content with the slide slide. Select, slide, slide, select, slide, slide, select, pachinko, uh, lottery, lotto, gambling type of uh, mentality. So they yeah, knew that. People think that all the, the best results are on the top. Yeah. Well, there it's there's a certain science to it, and they show that people who, people who, uh, I, w I would be guessing right now, but it's somewhere somewhere along the line of uh, the person that always does new things is the person that's always looking up new things, like picks a different table every time at a different restaurant or at the same mm -hmm. restaurant as the guy that's looking up new stuff and not just looking up the content that's fed to them. But the people that are just looking up the content that's fed to them will sit in the same spot everywhere. Performance bias. Yeah, conformity, you know. Yeah, exactly. So you know, it's, it's sad that so many people do that. They they look for opinions that agree with theirs instead of looking for truth. Yes. So let's talk about these individual neural networks and these laces yeah. and how how Theodorian roots are um, the is this vision this what we're looking at right here mm -hmm. now I designed this um, around December last year 2019 there's a lot coming in a lot happening but this is the own this is the Doherty set that I've been studying for almost 18 years or yeah almost 18 years and uh, and it's simple. You can see it's the square root, the inverse square law, mm -hmm. and the cascading network that comes off of it. That's what the um, magnetohydrodynamic geometry is, okay? But it comes out in all directions and then sandwiches down to planes. And that's the um, uh, what Walter Russell calls as the fulcrum mm -hmm. and what Ken Wheeler calls and, dielectric. Uh, what is it? The line. Dielectric. Yeah, dielectric inertial plane. So these are all like dielectric inertial planes, which are also force-free field-aligned currents. Now, force-free field-aligned currents are Birkeland currents. So this is the geometry of a Birkeland current and how it breaks down into subsequent Bessel functions that are beating separate drums along the same filament and able to longitudinally and transversely it is important i think in terms of yep. looking at it yes very good it long actually longitudinally and transversely entangled with all other creatures towards the central filament and the, and the power being in the longitudinal the magnetic so when i was talking about numbers earlier yes the longitudinal is well the longitudinal is both electric and magnetic. 
Right. That's why it's more, more way more powerful because it's more powerful than the polarizing electric. Yeah. It's it's because it's where electric meets magnetic. Yep. Whereas outside of that, it's all electric. It's the polarization. It's it's at the monad where the electric has has been pulled back to center by the magnetic, and then it goes back out. So the but center it always gets pulled back in, right? And and depending on what it brings back in terms of information, right? That's what the magnetic, the creative feminine energy does is it throw when it throws it back out. If it came back in with um, new information, it gets thrown back out as more with more clarity, right? That's, that's what this attenuation process is really all about, is refining crystalline structure, yep. which is information, right? It, uh, but it's when it's in proportion symmetry, right? When it, it meets all these criteria, it's, it's closer to God's um, design, and, and that's important. And that's what Victor Schauber talks about yeah. when we're do, using implosive versus um, centripetal versus centrifugal energies, right? The centrifugal energies, the explosive, gasoline, fission, they degrade reality, right? Because we're taking things apart to, to find meaning instead of bringing things together to find meaning. And that's the, the fusion Right. That's really where you, why you get precious metals out of fusion. Right. Is because you're bringing things together to get energy and you're getting much more than just energy out of it. Um, indeed, the, this and I don't talk enough about those those subjects because I'm so entrenched into this. You know what I mean? I'm so like out there that I have to try to dial it in to bring it to, to uh, like Eric Dollard standards to yeah, talk awesome. like or like um, Rupert Sheldrake standards um, I I communicated with Rupert and we're going to communicate a lot more because I'm going to show him how uh, his idea and theory of morphogenesis is real out of these um, it, out of these and show him what uh, more the geometry of morphogenic fields are the geometry of morphogenesis yeah. uh, We've talked about this a lot. We've done some shows on it But I really want to drill it home so that without a doubt you can see that it's all made with these like you say recursive fract words that I don't use enough because I'm out here using other words that other people already haven't popularized or but you got to remember it's all the fractal geometry of quantum geometry breaking down these individual filaments into um, packets of individual charge um, that are connected and nested to other creatures in a larger global electric circuit and or solar electric circuit and also a larger galactic electric circuit that's connected and that stars form on filaments inside of these nodes like star will form here and here and here at these pinch points and here and here at the other points it will be moving charge from one place to the other and finding little planets to turn into the next charge and there and therefore it will be just a bearing the load of the charge that's coming in on it the toroidal influx of a larger filament that's coming from a hierarchical filament that's out and this is all um, this is all talked about inside of the Thunderbolts project heavily so if you want to learn more about this kind of stuff look into the Thunderbolts project an electric universe electric universe okay. I've, I've been tapped into that for a long time buddy this but the, uh, audience. the way I work is I don't Not you very the audience. sorry I, I sorry Chris I, I know I know you have been but I'm I got to speak also to the audience as well. Yeah. Sorry, not to um, belittle you or you know. Yeah, no, I, I just wanted to offer a perspective in terms of how I approach um, my research in terms of uh, precepts and not I'm, I'm, the devil's in the details, and I don't really deal a lot in details. I'm a very I'm at like forty thousand feet, really zoomed out, looking yeah. again at that unknown element, right? Unknown unknowns connecting. And I only dip into the detail when it's warranted, but most of what I'm doing, man, is just uh, seeing the interconnectedness with things. And then I can dive in deep, man, and that three, six, and nine is uh, the key to it all. This three, six, and nine um, 
is is extremely important. Yeah, it there is there is um, life exists inside of the three six nine matrix. Um, but I think that life can exist in other types of uh, un unfolding. There is a fundamental sure that's happening there, and like the Marion matrix, um, there's a fundamental of the pinching that happens in the um, the perturbation of the ether that breaks this up into individual quanta, like individual zitterbi wugong. These are le le lenses. Every lens here overlapping another sphere because these are fractal stack stack um, kissing spheres in a fractal grid, you know, you, you have these nested uh, lenses that are within lenses that are within lenses, and then you have tube torses within tube torses within tube torses. So one can take your golden caliper and go golden scaling and golden scaling is going into the filament and finding all of the intricate details yourself and becoming mind blown because mm -hmm. every single time you put it down you find another uh connection with another part of the circuit and you start to trace all these um shapes that i've found in in the past 20 years in my research and there's all everything's in there so that's just this filament now we have these ones you know all these other filaments and these are the how you bubble sculpt this is these are how i bubble sculpt um i use these i use these uh the doherty networks because this is this was the original doherty set doherty network um and these are all the doherty networks now there's an infinite amount of them so if just in this one there's an infinite amount of um variability of creatures coming into existence and going out of existence speciation and extinction at the same time right now and and larger cyclical events of catastrophic events happen during these pinches of larger 240 year cycles and when the filament flips and goes like this as it braids it shows all of it it shows exactly where we are a lot of people know the people who the the people who were studying and waiting for jesus to come knew you know yeah. the people who are looking at this geometry know uh, uh, you might not know you know but you know now you might not know that but later you will and you go into these which are ultimately just base shape regular polygons you rotate base shape regular polygons within themselves and you get the inverse polygonal scale of that so that's inverse octagonal scaling inverse septagonal scaling according to the inverse septagonal law there's an inverse square law there's an inverse pentagonal law and it has the law is there because it's fixed into place and these geometries bro and they build these bessel functions and these are the bessel functions of the drum that we live on in an outer in on in and on an outer part of these toroidal um uh super geometries or simplex on the simplex is where time exists time exists on the outside of these toruses but it's way out here and it's constantly happening and and we're whizzing through them we are hypersonically pretty much shooting through the cosmos we're in warp drive we are the warp drive. We are the edge of the universe in constant expansion. If the universe had a beginning, it has an edge, and the edge is the thought forms that form the beings, and the beings that transcend their being by forming higher thoughts. Did you hear that? Yep. We have to have higher thoughts in order to transform our being, our lower being that we know we have. That's why we have to communicate with that larger circuit because we're dialed in almost all religions know this whether it's animism or or um pantheism or every everything we know that we're dialed into a larger circuit we're all trying to traverse the circuit but well, that's, that's what you're doing with the words buddy you're you're using these new words um and i'm i'm learning all these other other words to serve as a bridge right because we have to use the old words to bridge understanding 
before mm-hmm. we can start inserting new words for people to start bringing into their lexicon because yeah. the words are really the key to it all right it's why i study number theory i have no interest in number theory but i study it just so i can talk to the fucking mathematicians and say this is how simple the three-point problem is right because you're not seeing the mirror you're not seeing the superposition you're not seeing it correctly to understand how incredibly simple it is I have, I have rose spray. Oh, whew. I love me some rose spray. Mm. It's funny because on, on the bottle it says, uh, <laughs> recommended in the Edgar Casey readings. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything we're doing, buddy, and fundamentally it's the uh, DNA is the Akash. I know, yeah. It's all, it's all the helicon, right? It's yeah. where the information and why I failed in my latest says, all is water is DNA is water and water holds the memory. Mm-hmm. That's the, the evaporative evapotranspiration cycle is that process of collecting information, um, distillation, right? Those bonds are broken. That information is lost. It falls back down. It collects information it is the whole process of, of uh, a breath of a life, right? Is you're coming here. You're suffering, but you're collecting information as you're doing it. And then you die, right? And that information goes back to source and gets processed and reorganized. And it's, yeah. it's beautiful. These are, these are, okay, there's a, there is indeed a global electric circuit. And people pop into and out of existence, out of necessity to, um, to, harbor the same charge across the whole surface of the earth because electricity works across membranes electricity Mm -hmm. and plasma work across membranes charged layers of charged double layers of membranes the information subsides and persists within and the eye of horus and in the eye of the eye on that tv show or the the movie Lord of the Rings mm-hmm. there is an oh, right. eye, there is an eye, the eye of Zoran there's an eye pinched between two uh two lenses an eye pinched between two lenses it's the Vescopite. and this eye that's pinched between two lenses is the boundary layer of um did I share it to the it, it Markland convection. Now, there's a boundary layer here that's happening. Brighton was talking about it quite extensively with the uh, Lucifer sigil, um, and how the eyeball sees and the geometry of how the eyeball sees. Uh, and this this is it right here. This is the um, the the pinch inside of the wavelet. Uh, and it exists perfectly inside the third gate, 100% inside the third gate. But uh, the next one inside is six. See, here's the third gate, Uh because it's the third off. Here's the center, zero, one, two, three. This is the third gate. So this was me getting into the third gate, showing it as a, field aligned current, unicorn, or an azomuthal current, spiral, or whatever you want to call it, galactic. Um, I don't know, I'm being stupid now, but this is this is what the universe wants. It craves stupid, it craves novelty, it craves yeah. difference, you know? It, it wants, would agree. Yeah, it wants I'm you to sure. play, and it would wants agree. you to play differently every time. It doesn't want you to play the same way. You know, and and so you go three off, one, two, three, and you get this, and you go one, two, three, and you got this point. So each pinch point is number three. So this whole so thing the is the first one, two, three being hydrogen, electron, proton, neutron. I don't get into that stuff, honestly. Okay. I I I'm looking at the entire thing as uh, spin and spin density. Um, uh, and cause gravity is, uh, you know, charge acceleration of charge 
Yeah. If gravity is acceleration of charge, then you have two ways that that charge can spin, period. And it's either in or out. It's mm -hmm. not up, down, left, right. That's why the wings of the angels and the vision of uh, the wheels within wheels, they don't move. Nothing moves. The whole system, it's all simulated motion. It's all simulated. So it's, it is a simulation, but it's visceral. It's real. It's not fake. It, we, we, don't, we wanna be careful not to believe that it is all a simulation because then we will all act like it's a video game. Think about it, bro. Look at the video games out there. Okay, so we have to be no, careful. I think that it actually, it is in that whole Sims thing. I'm saying that it's going to gain consciousness in eight years, buddy, is uh, we don't understand the nature of reality in terms of us playing these games, right? And really what we're in in the first place. I, I really don't think that we... This is it. Like this when you're playing crazy. Sims characters, that you're actually, could, you, you have to be able to go to places like you're actually controlling beings in some dimension, right? Making them do horrible things, right? But no, no good and bad, but understanding is important in terms of polarities and what you're really doing. I mean, people don't do that. They just play. This is the book. You see the pattern there? Mm -hmm. I got this book, Global Scaling, translated into English. Um, it was a magazine, and I have it here at my house. I started studying it. The guy's amazing, and then he got picked up and went to jail, and now he's running it, dude. He got out of prison because they tried to get him on fraud charges. So I'll look up global, global scaling, Carpet Mueller. And we haven't even touched on nanotubes because, I mean, we can even just take a look at nanotubes and qualia and our brain and know that what we're talking about has to go exactly with it. So if anyone knows what those things are, they might not yet. But hey, maybe this episode's just uh, still get gaining towards the point. But the point being, it's all helical. Mm -hmm. So we're showing that that space and all dynamics are vortical vortical sections and subsections of uh, double nested plasmoids and plasma layers. With, and the, with the vortex based in the helix. The uh, membranes uh, are extremely... Uh, hang on. The membranes are extremely sensitive. The membranes of the heliopause, the membranes of everything. And they're also uh, work as shock absorbent um, uh, barriers to keep the earth safe. So, sorry, I just, go ahead, you were saying something. No, I was just making a point in terms of the uh, cylinders, right, as helixes versus the vortex, as it is a helix in expanding by proportion. Periodic, right? Oh, there it is. Having and doubling. Uh, that's that's what creates the Bessel function. Yeah, the having, the doubling, the harmonics. The harmonics is is this is the is due to the toroid repeating itself as recursions outward, but the toroid it's the toroids themselves are constantly dilating. So we're part of this d totally dilating system. It's constantly dilating, constantly dependent on all other creatures and the sun interdependent so it's interscalar too across the entire membrane of the uh the solar system and the the local chimney we were we got into that a little bit okay i better slow it down we got into that a little bit on the last episode um what is this facebook okay i'll just uh I'll just hone it in here a little bit because I, I got sidetracked going through all this stuff. No worries, dude. Um, <clears throat> now, these are thought forms. Thought forms have life in lives. And thought forms are extremely beautiful and extremely deadly and dangerous. And that's what all things are 
and that's how our all cultures subsist inside of the beliefs of the thought forms yep. thought forms are the membrane cultures are the beings in the membrane cultures exist by eating and growing and the higher the thought forms of the culture the the I, I would like to say more radiant more glorious the more crystalline even if even if when groups okay if groups coming together in cities can guarantee a 15 percent growth rate inside of each a conglomerate of a group which would be like a node of a galactic structure 15 percent growth can be guaranteed inside of those types of systems uh, for, first you have to define qualitative and quantitative oh uh qualitative and quantitative in uh, scaling in a scaling sense that um the the growth outweighs the decay in the system by 15 percent in all networks of living uh uh cities and uh and aggregates of people who come together that's why they that's why they exist because because all in all out of all the bad shit that happens there's a 15 percent growth which outweighs all the bad shit that happens but the bad shit that happens can be um capitalized on as well as the good stuff that happens can be capitalized on which yep. is happening so all cities are being shut down and being taken advantage of by the technium which is a larger organism of technology you can't go out and have a good time after eight o'clock now walmart's closed you know i mean meyer's closed like the kids that are 15 or like you know want to 16 17 or whatever want to go um, have fun and just go do something, you know, there's nowhere for them to go. There's nowhere for anybody to go. It's just locked down, stay home, stay safe. Parks are being closed. This is, this is a big crunch. There's a bigger crunch that's coming, you know, and a lot of people are uh, getting in trouble. So the agenda 2030, just agenda 2030 isn't fast enough. It has to happen in one year, you know, it has to happen in two years. So stuff that they had to get done in a decade, they have to do now in a year, which magic happens, but it doesn't happen overnight. And all this stuff Nothing is connected. Bad. You know, Mariana Abramovich uh, doing ads for Microsoft, which is what we're on right now, Skype. Mm -hmm. um, that's dark rituals. That's dark, you know, okay. by us being on this. Are we supporting that? I mean, you know, by us being on Google, are we supporting that? By us, by uh, the fire? And using Microsoft are they you know what I mean like this is the thing we have the ability to say no digital no yeah. digital go no digital no go home stay out in the streets you know what I mean leave your phone home no digital like we need to start teaching people that if we continue to go in this technology crazy driven society we're gonna swallow ourselves whole and eat ourselves there's only one way to go here and it's and it's like there's a when I was talking about looming large and you look at ocean creatures and ocean creatures that just sit there and wait and lurk mm -hmm. and they just open their mouth and suck in the whole system and it's gone in a minute, the fish is gone. Like that's what's happening overnight with all these networks and all these smaller companies. There's, uh, there's people that's in cells that are being set in all of these separate groups to set, break them up, especially, especially the transformative yeah. groups. And, um, and I don't care if they're in cells or not, the stuff needs to continue to be put out. You know, I don't deal with there's it. No there's no stopping it. There's no stopping. There's no stopping what's happening. Right. And you know, the, this, the system that's trying to maintain relevance has already lost it, buddy. And, and the, these people that are resisting something, they're resisting a, a fish flopping around on the deck of a boat right? It's done. It's toast. Um, they're trying to, to hold on to as much relevance for as long as possible. But on the other side of the flip, it can't exist because we're moving into the, the feminine magnetic phase on a galactic scale. We're going back to source, right? 
this happens at every every fractal scale of electromagnetism is the polarizing uh, masculine, right? And then the unifying magnetic feminine. And we're moving into the matriarchal feminine magnetic phase, right? Because the whole universe is a breath. It's not just expanding. It's, it's expanding as it contracts past itself simultaneously. Right. So it's that's what past and future really are. They're, they're mirrors moving past themselves, centered in the now. Um, and, and all that really matters is what we do in the now, because it redefines the past. Yes. Yes. That's why Marcus Aurelius said what we do in life echoes into eternity. Eternity yes. means all time. We are writing history. We are the history makers. We're making history every second what's what's the history going to be of your life and that's it you what know you thought and what you did that's history and it's in your dna right it's all recorded um for growth the 15 percent i love because of the 15 degree angle right of uh water from air yeah and the 15 degree angle inside of half of 30 and th three six nine yeah, yeah. 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 So the cake the 15 is, is all is water. Ultimately, yeah, look at these layers of water, higher levels of layers of water, creating the creating the Van Allen belts and the charge differential, charge layers here coming in as the auroras. And it it's it literally creates itself out of sound. And then the creature which is color right that's another is, is charge differentials is color is polarities is a rainbow inside the bubble of water and that's fundamentally all that we're in right is a, a big rainbow we're inside of light yeah and yeah. we're explaining what light is retarded light light slowed mm -hmm. down light coming off of the source thermodynamics Magnetohydrodynamic elect, uh, electric geometry, and you know it binds in these coils and it slows down, and the structure itself mimics. After so many layers, starts to mimic the creatures. The creatures start to look exactly 100% colored by and portioned 100% within the circles that are cascading off of. The, uh, the networks of the Doherty networks and you can call it the God particle, the God field, the, you know, the Higgs field, um, but it, it planes out and this geometry in two dimensions on a surface explains a lot more than the geometry in three dimensions because there's more information here. Mm -hmm. and well, there's, there's less um, confusion, I think. Yes, because this is a this is ultimately a stereoscopic projection. This the Doherty networks are a stereoscopic projection of uh, the 3D reality we live in. Can you put stereoscopic glasses on and actually see the depth? Uh, it's what we see every day. If you could sonify the Doherty network, the Doherty set, this one. You would, you would get the sounds of reality. You would get the sounds of the chirping of the, of the uh, helicons and helicon physics, which is the, the winding gears that gets the earth alive by feeding it uh, sonobiology, uh, creatures that come out of sound that uh, the diatoms, beautiful geometries that form out of crypt uh, glass for all the other creatures to start eating and once those start building algae plumes then all creatures could start living I mean this is electrosonic speciation theory I came up with it and it has to do with the Doherty network and how uh, the geometry progresses it is a hundred percent predictive and it, it breaks, breaks down the basics of almost all plasma morphologies that any of us have studied yeah, you know, and I was thinking that this stuff is is a decade out, but but the experience I've been having with Lynn Clair and that group is is um, that I think that decade out was more linear thinking and logarithmic thinking says this is you know 
this is some very deep stuff, buddy. Um, and people don't have the awareness yet. Definitely not in academia, but this will be right. It's just, I think that we have to approach it. Like I was saying, in terms of the words first, starting with using their words as bridges to what we're creating in new words, right. And new understandings, um, the geometry is because it speaks for itself. That's the nature of geometric law, right? Is a natural law is not legislated like gravity, right? You don't choose to obey gravity. Yeah. Um, geometry is the same thing. Geometry is the lion, right? It's, uh, it's the truth. It's the heart. You set it free. It defends itself. You just, but if people don't have the awareness, they don't have, they're not at the right frequency. They can't see it. And that we need to be aware of that and try and help people comprehend that, right? That you can't see this. It's like uh, the Native Americans, they say when they saw the first ship coming up on the, the horizon of the ocean, they couldn't see it because they didn't have the context. I don't know how real that story is, but. No, I don't either. And I don't, I see, I don't do that. Else like that in history. So if it blimps up in the air, you're going to see it. No, I, I, I don't do that, buddy. I don't do the, um, it, I leverage what was said, right, in terms of, right. uh, it's kind of like, did Nikola Tesla say that about, I don't care, right? right. I, it came through time to me, and that means it's important for me to, to leverage that and find meaning in it. And now, what you know what, I, I, I emailed Clay, um, I forget what his name, the guy to light, and he's saying, the guy, I don't think he ever said that. And, and I'm like, okay, well, Write this down because I'm saying it now. You can quote me on it, right? Three, six, and nine hold the secret to this fucking universe. And this key, it shows up in your way, it shows up in everything. Right? Yeah, it shows up in all things. I, I, I'm not debating. That's probably definitely one of the analogs or, or uh, digital uh, um, matrices of it, you know, digital roots uh, of implosion and explosion off of any source systems because i mean that's all anything is, is studying that that you know and when you study that there is there is most likely occam's razor and it's done almost the same way every time but you have to take in to consideration that there's such a diversity of forms and formations of galaxies Mm -hmm. that these pinches in these whirls, uh, they can use uh, the, back here, they can use geometries that change between triangular, uh, quaternion, octonian, uh, but octonian and quaternion are, ne are nested in one of the same system, but mm -hmm. Um, but when certain systems break apart, in order for uniqueness to exist on all scales, there would have to be a fundamental, fundamental roots for sure. And that's the types of geometry we get into here on the show. Um, I'm not, I'm not one to say that it's this 100% or that 100% because I keep learning so much more. Yeah, no. It, so it can't correct. be any other way. I do say that I do say that it's this way and that way, but I and I only say that like if I know that it's the like the magnetohydrodynamic geometry like this coming right yeah. off of the sun, and uh, like three six and nine is in here, but also every other number in the universe. It's the it's the it's the number line. The number line that it's nine. Nine is all there is. Uh, nine, nine is the number line. Well, Russell, Russell seems to agree. Russell's work with the number nine. Yeah. So I'm hard. I'm hard pressed to say 100. percent You know, because I know that when charge, this is the geometry of lightning. When charge is moving in a hexagonal pattern and a counter rotating hexagonal pattern. Um, in order to disperse the charge efficiently, it can also move in an octagonal pattern or other types of patterns. So those, some of those might not form right off of the cube or the three, six, nine, they might form off of, uh, like the other matrices that I was showing 
with the other Berkland currents because, and by that time, sure, there might be a fundamental geometry at the beginning that's 369, but by that time, that 369 is well forgotten, like so many of us forget it now, you know, and forget how fundamental it is. But when you study fundamental geometries like we're doing, um, you, you see that. So I just want to clarify that that I don't I'm not sure you seem to believe that that's cool, and that I, I don't I don't believe it I know it right? you know but that's it. only that's only for me right you have and to do I, the work I, to know it right I'm always learning so maybe I'll get to that point yeah, um, and I always reserve the right to change my mind buddy so right. I know yeah. that now but I always reserve the right to, because that's based on my current level of uh, perspective and yes. and that is constantly changing yep and it needs to. It should always, yeah. yeah. All of our um, perceptions should constantly change, uh, and our along with our information input that we get. Mm -hmm. We're living crystals, you know. We're crystalline liquid inside of liquid inside of liquid, like Russell says. Walter Russell, Doc, the Doc, he says, uh, we're living in a electric ocean in an electric sea in an electric universe or something like that. And uh, that's that's what it is, you know? <clears throat> it's an it all electric boils universe. down to stress and strain. So maybe five minutes or so, try to get off uh, a little early. It's summer. I've been trying to do two hour calls no, uh, good. to make it more digestible too for the group. We'll, uh, we'll jump into nanotubes and you can see the same helical recursions and recursive structures on microfibers and, and helical uh, strands and networks, carbon nanotubes, and our brain qualia microtubules work in the same way on our axons and, uh, and our thought forms. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of patents out there that are um, that Spotify has that deal with your DNA as a receiver to types of music to your ancestry and it's supposed to like dial you in and all this other weird stuff but you know Plato wrote you know if you he who controls the music controls the masses you know and so the music is really where it's at. What are people dancing to? What are people talking about? Where's our mind? Where are the filaments, these nodes, these microtubules? You click on this and you go here and you get this, if this opens, um, which is the article that we were just looking at. And you scroll down the article to figure five and you get axon terminals, microtubules releasing neurotransmitters into synapse and into receptors in the membranes and the dendritic spines dendritic is electric it works in a branching type of pattern um, and it's also helical along these uh, filaments these cylinders so there's counter rotating um, charge and uh, these wires can be reworked nature can rework them with uh with some of the best mushrooms um in the world can help bring out a severe depression so these need to be reworked sometimes and rewired improper thinking gets you into improper motions improper motions gets you into improper thinking and then it becomes cyclical so you got to stop your behaviors, change your ways, things will change. The birds will like you again. Animals will like you. You might even like animals. Um, not you, but people out there, YouTubers, anybody listening. Every Everybody is dialed in in a different way into the circuitry. So you're dialed in through your, your mind and your beliefs, your umbelt. And this goes down into uh, your heart and your blood flow and your and your DNA changing constantly from moment to moment as you would produce a different child a different type of child at every different point in your life um, you you would produce a different type of child also put it 
putting the intention into it and making it something that really connects and um, some people can't have children so I mean some people I'm, shouldn't have children I'm not in that boat I don't say people shouldn't have children I think people are what's gonna save people well I mean well, we are ourselves we need to talk I mean about I, don't, I don't mean people shouldn't have children I mean that that um, the way we're conditioned to think about having children is backwards Oh, well, everyone's telling people they shouldn't have children because they're telling people that the world is overpopulated and then they're yeah. telling people that everything's horrible and we're the freest and we've ever been and everything's the best it's ever been on a, um, on a exponential scale than it's ever been. Teenage pregnancies down, violence, rape, shooting, everything's down. It's every, the, the, the media will have you believe we're in a war with the universe. If they want, if you want, if you allow yourself to believe that, yeah. you know, think of that you are in tune with the universe and making love with the universe. You're not at war with it, and you'll have a different umbelt, and you'll change your mind, and you are making love with the universe. Put your thoughts. You'll in your resonate head. with a different reality. Yeah. You'll blip into it into that existence because um, that's kind of how it all works. You know, we collectively create create what we collectively believe, but your your That's own right. intentions, your own your own consciousness, it aligns you with different slices because we do that trillions of times every second. We select the now together, yes. right? but your consciousness defines what what you're aligning with, and we, and this is where I'm saying in terms of this bifurcation and and the transhumanist side being created. But we're not we're not resonating with that reality. That's the people that are in the fear that are following the division, the programming. They're going to follow that, right? Whereas we're going to follow the other um, because they need to experience that. They're not cooked yet. It's not soup yet. Um, so this, this re reprogramming of your heart and of your mind is talked about in scripture and Christendom scripture, which is writing from all of humanity. So look at it as someone wrote this, you know, look at it as a parable. But you, by being grateful and thankful, you can transform your mind and your heart and your body and your soul into a different creature. And grateful that, grateful in a way that you appreciate life, not grateful that you, I don't know, I don't know, because that's what it's all about, the daily bread, eating, making sure that you is very important. be grateful for your food, be thankful mm -hmm. for your food, be thankful mm -hmm. for your, your friends, your family, your loved ones. You came out of a womb of a woman, respect women and females, respect men, respect out the elderly you know these are just basic tenets of like a collective system let's let's be collective and unique in our own ways so anyway this this connection here is really fundamental to the universe because the way you view the universe is how these microtubulins and these dendritic spines uh, and these messengers and these cytoskeletons inside of these dendrites are going to process the information and down and format through neural genesis new synaptic connections that have new patterns on them do new things get new patterns the universe loves novelty new things new things not the novel coronavirus, but hey, the the common cold has never been able to be cured. So we're always going to have colds. It's part of the reset of that's naturally in the four texture or the four texture number four of the universe. I love the four. The four top well all all things in the in the 
biosphere are constrained by the number four. And that's why we see bilateral symmetry um, and scale symmetry. And we also see that in the Doherty network and the Doherty set. It's all constrained by the number four. The four angels holding back the winds of the four corners. Um, those, those, the four is the, they're, they're components of time. They, they act on the threeness, the threeness, right, are the space components. Uh, the X, Y, Z, the fourness are um, birth, growth, decay, death. They're a fundamental cycle, whereas the fundamental trinity is point of perception, point of focus, right? Um, and a, the pineal gland is a center. So think of these as if God is way out, if God is a larger part of the circuit, telling the, these baby synapses to obey and behave and within certain parameters or you'll get snabbed by an eagle if you're a little bunny or you'll get snabbed by a snake mama says with her little teeth mama says knock you out mama mm -hmm. says you'll get knocked out if you walk out in that garden you'll get so you got to take everything with thinking about the nature is recursively policing and cleaning itself in all of these in all of these phylums of creatures and clads mm -hmm. of creatures and Fibonacci itself is part of that yeah and the the trees how the trees unfold yep and the phyllotaxis and mm -hmm. so phyllotaxis is how the leaves come off of the branches same way as how your brain Acousts and perceives the universe in attention. Mm -hmm. Nobody sure. likes a negative Nancy. That negative Nancy eventually needs to be like, look. Someone needs to sit him down and be like, look, man. There's some good stuff going on. Look, look, mm -hmm. look. You know, to that person who's over pessimist, over optimistic. Somebody needs to sit him down and be like, look, dude. This shit's bad. It's a dangerous world. <laughs> yeah. You know, this shit's bad. But then the optimist will say, look, there's a way through it. Look, it, there's, 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 a, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And we are it. We are cavitating. We are the edges of the universe. And our thoughts form our reality. You mind before matter. There is a field. The field of the Doherty set creates the forms. There's a field of vortex -ture creating forms inside of it. The forms pop out and become living creatures that also mimic the same shapes that are inside of the field itself. The Egyptians shown this as creatures because the geometries are perfect phi and perfect symmetry with what they were, what they, the columns and everything that they built. Even in India, India has columns that sing just wait till the ionosphere comes down closer to earth india the columns will be singing and vibrating different resonance frequencies the only way you can collapse a village probably one of the only ways is by luck of timing but by going around them seven times and with horns is creating a standing wave and the standing wave collapses the structure yeah well, just you like know. the vortex um, thing that you're Covering last week. Yeah, and when you when you when you go on the top of a glass with your finger and you get the if we go around this colony seven times, look at that structure, just with our horns, we can collapse that motherfucker. These stories are real. These stories may be biblical, they might be India, they might be uh, Buddhist stories, they might be stories Wherever these stories come from, there a lot of them have a lot of meaning. That's meaning. That's why they're in the scriptures. That's why you circumnavigate the Kaaba seven times if you're Islamic. You have to be a monk right now. You have to write things in carbon, or you have to get a typewriter and type it out. It's the only way for the Panopticon not to see it and create yeah. your manuscript. You know your 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 beautiful essay to the universe, what you want to say, you know, 
you know, I'm not saying go out with a bang and say and and write your crazy whatever manifesto, you know. I'm saying just write. Write about the universe. Find your place in it. Just keep writing. After seven years of writing, you'll be like, man, I'm a writer. You know, maybe even after one month, a day of writing, you'd be like, oh, dude, I'm a writer. Just get And to you're, you're talking about not typing into a computer, but using yeah. a pencil and actually Don't using your, your fingers. Yeah. Get your own ju journal, your own diary. Don't bring it around your phone Do and keep your story so you can tell your story be a monk and take this information that's freely available on the internet and send it just gonna press send maybe put it in a capsule underneath the ground because shit's about to hit you know we need to save and preserve this is what i'm saying uh -huh. make sure we get it make sure we put it somewhere for the next generation so it's easier for them to access it I don't know. Generativity. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting patriotic. No, that's that's really a big a big statement, buddy. Because that's. Um, and I, I think you you've touched on this before in terms of of us um, understanding our role in the manifest creation is we're stewards, right? We're not here to conquer the earth. We're here as stewards for the earth, a better place for future generations. Always. Yeah. Yes. Right. And yeah. more importantly, starting with gratitude for the generations that preceded us who suffered for us to be able to be here and to enjoy the relative comfort that we do today. Right. That gratitude is very important to, to begin. Well, yeah. But then with that gratitude is how you fuel what you're doing in terms of future generations is mm -hmm. paying I, it forward. Yes. And, and, and my tears will be felt from the universe. I already know it. My tears, my, tears. my tears are ducats that are that, that are gone in some galactic stew somewhere in some other universe in the whole in the whole universe. They're powerful, dude. I you, you have to be thankful for this information and that you can play with it and create with it and co-create with it. I'm and that's for for all I could do was just worship and be thankful. Worship yeah. and be thankful. You know, there's there's places that you you don't have to go anywhere special to be thankful and worship. You know, just be thankful to be with your family and spend time with, with people because it's not going to be the way it was in the '90s through this decade. I promise you. Oh. No, we're already dude. We're not in Kansas anymore. Oh no, nope. They've already, uh, 2012, people think that, that nothing happened, but they don't get it, man. They don't know I what know CERN got, is really all about. I know I got rebaptized in 2012, in December 2012, because I was baptized as a baby, you know, and I wanted to make sure I was branded into uh, these, these columns of the universe, the towers and these pillars. We are pillars for people and generations. We have to be open when we die and open when we close and, you know, uh, for the universe to move through us. And maybe being a little too closed minded is, but you have to be single, single eyed. So to be single eyed is to understand that you're the center, but the center is nothing, which is why you have to give it all away. But you can have material possessions. You don't have to be some person who flees everything without material possessions and does some display, some worldly display, and gives all their money away. There's you can access it now. There's a lot of hurting people that need to hear this. Close your eyes and, and pray. Close your eyes. Get away and speak out loud to the universe. It's a spell that you need to say to get yourself out of these ways. You need to speak and say, I'm sorry. We're all, we all do bad things. In order to look towards the light and, and you have to be repentant. You have to be, you have to realize that, look, dude, I, 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 I took it off. I'm I'm naked. Here I am. Take off your toga. You're a, a princess. Um, I'm sorry, my 
I'm sorry, buddy. Am I interrupting a private discussion? No, not at all. Very good. Um, I just was about, I was quoting a song um, by uh, Destroyer, or the song might be Destroyer, but in a pinch, in a blink, in the eye, and we're talking about now and the pinch and how we are the, the edges of the universe, the fringes and our thought forms are helping manifest this for the next generations and reality and how this episode is on microtubules, nanotubules. We went into showing the scaling of uh, these the Doherty networks into actual creatures and that every single number is not two numbers. Every single number off of the Birkeland current, these are singular numbers and all prime numbers are in it and they're all odd numbers. But every single number out here that's nested subsequently inside of these Birkeland currents, which are first fundamental Birkeland currents, are polarized numbers. So 1,114 or 114,688 is male and female and one creature and that it's dependent on these other creatures and these other filaments in order to exist, but mostly dependent on this creature ahead of it and this creature below it. So creature stacking, fossils, fossil fuel, dinosaurs, dinosaurs existing before us, that's why there's an infinite amount of these numbers and an infinite amount of these filaments in the magnetohydrodynamic geometry. So it blew my mind to realize that today, that every number, every, every even number is two numbers of one torus that's a helical filament that's nested to this creature. So if this is the apex predator down here, it's a uh, creature down here is subsistent on this creature right here is subsistent on this creature. And all collectively, they're all subsistent on the ones that are around them. And out here is where, where creatures can start to exist, uh, not closer towards the filaments because there's too much charge and the charge has to dissipate into individual ropes and individual cyclical recursions of self-similar cyclical recursions, fractal recursions of themselves in order to just exist on a sphere, a charged sphere, exist as a current on a circuit on a charged sphere. Because we're dealing with a global electric circuit and every creature is part of the current. So creatures, sometimes we're like, oh my gosh, why did that happen? And, cre and people like, like that guy that got struck in, out of thin air with no clouds the other day in, in a stadium. He got struck and he's in uh, intensive care. They say he's gonna make it, but they had to put him in induced coma. This guy got struck. That's because the global electric circuit has to always remain at the Schumann cavity. So this will help ease so many people's hearts. It, why is there so much suffering? Why is there so much pain and death? because it's, it's out of necessity to keep the whole circuit at uh, um, the, the Schumann cavity, the Schumann resonance. Seriously, it's really strange, but like... No, I can touch on that, buddy. You know? Um, you, ever, you ever watch the closed circuit TV, the cameras and all the business and everything? There's, I've seen these videos out there where they... <clears throat> They show where people's lives are taken, right? Under the most uh, synchronistic events that are just so bizarre. Yeah. Where people's lives are either taken or spared, right? And and uh, me inciting into that, that's universe doing that balancing action, right? Of always, you gotta go, you gotta stay, right? To try and always, and it's all based on our choices. Right? Yeah, People don't karma. understand. Karma. Karma's the same fucking thing as the global yeah. electric circuit. Yeah. Synonym. Synonymous. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. That's cool to think about it that way. It is. Wow. It's immaculate, too. And that's, and that's why when you get to this point, man, you know, I mean, you, I still worry because I'm in the beast, right? But you know that everything is, if it's happening to you, 
it's meant to be and it's meant to you're meant to learn from it yes um otherwise you know if everything otherwise that's what i tried to tell my kids you know when when they have problems like is everything okay now right because it's always yesterday and tomorrow that shit's wrong but right now it's always good and if it's not that means you have to act right but otherwise chill Yeah, and that's why everything is a meandering current Every sing on all scales, everything. So these meandering currents are consuming other circuits, and other circuits are s s sucking off of these other succulent circuits. So And those, those meandering currents, buddy, they are, you know, the sweet spot on the wave that the surfer where you catch the wave or you fall back and catch the next one, mm -hmm. those, those um, currents are running through those sweet spots. Yes, the sweet spots and the locusts follow the sweet spots and they're coming to the North America uh, any day now here. So yeah. the chief uh, system of the planet, same thing. It's all flowing through that. Well, we look at it as a plague, but ultimately um, we are part of a circuit that works up with the circuit. And as the sun gets in a solar minimum, our minds go crazy and our, we can actually lose our values and all of our religions, and that's what part of the building of the structures are, is to retain memory inside of these uh, star forts, I think. They, they knew that uh, somehow cultures can't get past a certain amount of years, and they had to build these huge structures to try to preserve memory inside of stone. And the memory inside of the stone, inside of India, inside of these columns, when it, the ionosphere comes back, they're going to talk and they're going to tell us certain things in foreign languages. Dude, I'm that's not going to happen in December 21st. That's the, the, the dropping of the veil. All what right? do you that's think? That's when everybody's going to start seeing shit that they can't process. So, so you think that you think there's a way to uh, not go crazy? Um, you think you're going to go crazy or what? What's, no, what do you I don't think there's a way for most people to not go crazy. I think it's possible, maybe for us, right, um, through through being centered and not getting into the polarizations. But so but this, that that whole that whole polar reversal, right, is, is all part of this. That's not December twenty first, but it's everything is cycles and cycles, and um, we we need to come to that point, right? Because that's really the shift from the the masculine electric phase to the feminine is you're shifting from a, a center out perspective to a out center perspective. And you're, we're moving back towards source. And because we're moving back towards source, we can't move back towards source with the fun dysfunction and lies and corruption is why all this shit's coming out. Now it has to be, it has to flip in those energies too. Yeah, so hi, hi, cultures get hypersensitive and hyper um, uh, strange during these solar reversal flips and these magnetic reversal flips on the planet. And auroras uh, start to encompass the whole Earth, and the auroras correspond with different trees, and we're going to see that a lot more. We're going to see trees that their gases release higher into the upper atmosphere collectively as large forests are going to be predominantly certain types of uh, auroras. Dude. I love that, it. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's go back to a couple of graphics. What's that? The orange, the, um, the look like uh, clusters. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about in terms of the polarizations or exist first, right? Those two polarizations in the top left, and then that's where the uh, the bifurcation happens, or the the infinitesimal perturbation is that polarization, and that's when the magnetic you can see it through those actions. That's all vortex-based math, or oh, yeah. morphogenic math. Now, Um, that's yin yang. That is in the Vesca Pisces. That's the action of the Vesca Pisces right there. Is those are two circles, right? And they're they're two circles with a common center. Centers on circumferences, which create the Vesca Pisces. Is that's that's the mind. It's the the uh, left right temples. 
in the left right ears, left right hemispheres. Yeah, the hemispheres of your brain and the, the better they're connected, the more you can see the truth because one's trying to tell you one thing and one's trying to tell you the other mm -hmm. thing. There's a counter rotation in each one of your brains with blood flow. So the blood flow is oscillating your brain and, and every time your brain, every time your heart beats, your brain drum, beats like a drum. So it's your heart that feels the universe first and thinks and feeds your thoughts. Yes. Your heart desire comes out of your mouth. Yes. Whatever your heart's desire is, is what you speak of. It's the treasure. The treasure, whatever people speak of is the treasure of their heart. Yes. So the heart is centered. The heart, if you think about mitosis, the creation of the being in the first place, the blood and the heart creates the being. It's, it's what the brain doesn't start first. The brain has no, no uh, role in, in mitosis and development of the embryo, right? It's the heart and the blood. The blood is, that's why the blood of Christ is so incredibly important. It's the plasma and the geometry and the rheology of the flow dynamics of the yeah. initial uh, penetration that the egg chooses from which sperm comes in. And the torus, the blood torus. Yep. It yeah. splits and it starts to move all the vortex and create this cells that divide according to the first filament, the one, two, four, eight, 16, mm. the same filament of um, our computers and our binary network is built off of doubling. Yep. Um, and everything else is wrapped up in it. And that 64 is a, is a prime for the, my model in the, the pineal gland in the J88. So look, it's one, two, three, four, wait. Okay, this is, there's zero, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seventh one out of the first filament is 64. G. Seven, eight, nine. There's a G. G. Of course. G. I want G. G whiz. Okay, there now. There are no coincidences, man. I like that you do that because it's very important which cycle 64 is in. It's very important where the sequence in Fibonacci, which position it holds has meaning. Oh yeah. This is actually the filament that 144,000 is. Seventh one off, remember? Yeah. So G. G whiz. There's your capital G. Actually, capital G is uh, accompanied by alphabet. I've been studying alphabet, looking more into it because they're such a conglomeration. Well, the alphabet is the deep state. They created it. They created um, Amazon, right? The central banking is is um, behind all of that. Yes. I don't like to try to get into that stuff, but yeah, I appreciate that. That's you, just true. You tell the viewers. I appreciate that. But yeah, I... Well, the, you don't you don't have full contrast, buddy. You don't have full truth until you have the full picture, right? And and so that part that part of it is I don't live in it, but I educated myself in geopolitics and the legal systems, the healthcare, education, all these systems that um, aren't what we think. And so that's why it rounds out my rounds out my view, right? My perspective is um, I've got a deeper zoomed out perspective. Well, what's, informs. what's Google's army? Us. Google. What yeah. government? We the people. A all us. Army. I think it's probably well, now the, it's AI. It's probably been at United Nations. Google wants to do business with the military. Does Google have an army? It's probably the United Nations. You know, Facebook, Google. Amazon. No, we're we're their army, dude. Big time. Again, it's the same thing. We the people, we are the government, right? We are evil because evil does not express without our choices. It expresses through us. If we don't choose evil, evil doesn't exist. Well, you walk you you what you do is you flee from evil and evil will flee from you. 
You draw near towards God and God will draw near towards you. You draw near towards the circuit, which is the narrow, the path straight and narrow. It's really hard to get in the circuit. It's like there's three people on this call, dude. (laughs) It's very easy and be clogged. What's that? It's why there's three people on this call. If it were easy, it would be a waiting room. Right. So, yeah, this has been a really good episode talking about how these, um, these, what are they, Bernoulli? No, not Bernoulli. We found them the other day. Ah, let me try to remember the name of them. Do you remember, Ramon? Brzezinski Vortexes? I'm sorry. I, you know, I wasn't here for the earlier part of the call. I was working. Um, and so I'm not sure what your question is. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to find this. I, what I see those as is um, sheet plasma. Right, what a what a matrix, a transform or identity matrix is is wrapping uh, that grid, that n by n, into a cylinder, and then um, the identity matrix wraps it into a torus, the cylinder into the torus. Or, 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 or. Uh, what I glanced at looked reminded me of a coaxial, um, but I, I don't know what you were specifically inquiring about. There's a um, a guy, Beltrami. Beltrami. Yes. Oh yeah. Have you heard of Beltrami? I have, but I, I'm not a mathematician, and so I haven't studied anything into it. Ah, uh, dude, look at this. This is how all filamentary structures break down. Yeah. This is yeah. from the 96, dude. This is before Donald Scott basically showed this showed this as a Bessel function, did the math of this. I don't know. Maybe the math was done before Donald Scott, but it's always yeah. been around. Well, not always. <laughs> well, no. I mean, in structures, you look at the Queen's chamber and you look at the octaves and the octave dispersion of sound. And they're all based on this type of filamental breakdown. And it's all in the Doherty, on, Doherty network on every single scale and every single filament does the same thing. And, and so do your blood vessels and your brain yeah. and your collagen and what we're made of. We all spiral off of this Beltrami key to unlocking um, uh, uh, organized self-organization and said it's a perfect yeah. architect for self-organization. It increases efficiency. Mm-hmm. Yes. It is um, how you efficiently distribute charge into layer by layer That's so correct. as not to overload a circuit. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, fa- in fact, uh, the way that DNA is uh, coiled, um, it creates multiple levels of uh, induction utilizing that principle. So you'd have to find a DNA, um, a total unwrapping from the histone level all the way down, and uh, you can see all the different kinds of coils. Mm-hmm. Yeah, none yep. of these vid- none of these pictures are sufficient. Um, oh, dude, that one's not bad. Oh, you. Yeah. Uh, no, scroll down. Mm, keep going. Keep going. Okay, that one right there with the X, and it unravels. But it doesn't really convey the the image very well. No, it's uh, up and left. Yeah, that one. Nope, the one to the right. Yeah, but what it's not conveying very well are the uh, loops in between the scale that we're looking at and the um, the way that it, they're wrapped at the end. I have a, right. a great a great image in my very first uh, paper before I was even you know um, EPMC, um, and and I included it also. There's a great one in, um, I'll have to get the name of the book. It, I have it at the clinic and it has these beautiful 3D diagrams. Uh, maybe I'll take a picture. But the way that, that the DNA gets coiled up and then it gets recoiled up, and there are all these 
little benzene rings and uh, other nucleotide rings in the DNA on each level, and then it gets spiraled around. So you have uh, this cross induction and the current gets shunted into a spiral. Then that gets wrapped into a coil, then that gets coiled, and then that coil wraps into a tubule shape and forms the X. So it, it uh, preserves the induced electricity. That's exactly pretty, what happens. Pretty efficient. Yeah. Um, and it does it on all scales in all muscles and muscle membranes and the fascia and, um, you know, here's your collagen, triple helix breakdown. Uh, I actually designed and stumbled upon the fact that I designed, uh, I'm trying to remember the, the name of it. It started with a C, but it's part of a main protein part of the main thing that DNA is made of, um, but it breaks down into a triple helix too. So it's helical on all scales and in our minds, it's helical and we can change our minds and the structure of our minds moment to moment. That's what we have power over our minds. Uh, there was a song, don't, 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 don't change your mind from the eighties. Dun, 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 change your mind. And it was a good song. I vibed with it. I forget who sang it, but I've been trying to find who did it. Um, so we can, ha we do have power over our thoughts. And, uh, and we will not be overwhelmed with, with uh, more than we can handle. People are going crazy right now but we need to we need to all realize that this is a mental and a spiritual global breakdown so we're gonna make it through we're gonna we're entering into it and we're gonna make it through um you're well, you're many you're people brave. not everyone but many people well i'm saying we're gonna make it through guys people just have faith Find the spirit. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a great, that's a great summary at, of the line. This book looks go Oh, Stuart Hammer off. Okay. But either way, this looks beautiful. This looks great. You know, um, the reason I was kind of like, ah, Stuart Hammer off. But he's pretty, pretty into the, uh, the qualia, which is what, I mean, he, I don't know if he came up with it, but he pushes it really hard qualia which are helical um we were we were just in the article here we were in an article that i have opened um a minute ago or whatever about how these uh micro tubulin structures inside of the brain are organized and reorganized and this is kind of what elon musk wants to do and we've done electroshock therapy and we used to go around and uh, electrocute the brain and like leave people in vegetative states because they were so screwed up. The body is electric. The body needs to be rubbed. The body needs to be massaged. It needs to be loved and it needs to be uh, nurtured. Um, and we find this time and time again that the psychopathy of some of these individuals that are doing bad things were not nurtured. The only difference is they weren't nurtured. You know well, what I mean? That so, also, there is okay. a state, there is a, a a function inside the brain that is a connection, and I don't mean a an empathy state like with the soci sociopaths where they are missing that function of empathy, although that is part of the mirror neurons. Um, yeah, I mean that there is that, an actual right? trans transponder and transceiver function in the brain, and if it gets switched off. And people get stuck in a, a me loop, then essentially they are unable to connect. Secondly, there are people who do try to connect and get connected to the wrong circuits. And when that happens, that is also incredibly dangerous. So you have like cults or an easy example, perfect example. You have to test uh, the spirits. What are mind fields but spirits? What are mind like, fields yeah. but plasmoids around beings that put out ideas? Yes, but there's more than one level of, of those two. 
And yeah. there's more than one level of uh, the extra heavens, and there's more than one level of the extra hells. Yeah. Um, and we have such a, bol- a polar society or a du- dualistic society that we tend to like collapse everything into, you know, all its spirit world. But actually, the spirit world's divided into different layers. Indeed. And, um, I, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, and then and then, it, and then when we really say multi, multi, even even using the words multi-dimensional, actually robs the the. I agree. Uh, reality of the situation. I use, that's why I use have, the word hierarchical usually instead of multi-dimensional because it's the same. It's the same dement. It's the same idea. Let me, let me, let me finish my. Uh, let me finish my my, my okay, sentence. Yeah. Uh, um, so there's, you know, there's alternate dimensional, there's parallel dimensional, there's uh, mirror dimensional, there's uh, alternate timeline, um, there's um, uh, fractal dimensional, there's all sorts of different kinds of dimensional. So then you can also multiply that across the different types of spirit worlds, hells and heavens. And pretty soon the mundane world is just like the visible spectrum, a tiny slice. Yeah. Tiny slice. Yeah. And the mundane world is different for every single person, but everybody has to deal with the mundane. And it's how you deal with the mundane that makes you the person you are. You're going to glow when you go back to work and shine and shimmer and be happy and chipper. Or you're going to go and be upset the whole day or be upset because something messed you up in the morning. You know, it's your idea. It's your job to control your mind field and how you treat other people. And it's your job, our job. It's not this person treated me this way, I'm gonna treat him that way. Go through life um, as, a, as, as the person who is the, uh, uh, the better person in the fight and walk away. It's to a king's advantage to avoid uh, uh, a, a quarrel or an insult or a slap to the face sometimes. You have to realize your position and we all have to realize our positions. You know, slaps in the face are are garnished daily. We, we should all be like slap ourselves awake every morning because it's crazy out there. We need to wake up. We need to dial in we should wake up we should dial in and be a part of uh i i i think we should be a part of a larger good growing organism but it's hard to define good so i just say we need to disseminate the information and people will do what they do with it publish or perish People are going to do what they do with it. I'm not going to spend 45 years patenting the thousands of things that I've discovered. I'll just continue to spew it out of my mouth and show people that it's right here inside of a simple geometry that you can use to create universal bridges from galaxy to galaxy and start connecting the universe and the universe game. And the universe game is going to be released this year, later this year. So... It's really simple how simple the universe game is too. And it's 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 already been played with and shown off in multiple countries around the world. And I'm excited because it's unbiased, it's it's by itself, it's standalone. I am a person who might have helped discover it and push it out to the world so other people can see it but take my beliefs out of the system i am an individual that has rights to his own beliefs and the rights to change their own beliefs like you say chris that's great i can change my opinion you know so yeah, everybody should reserve the right to fail the right to lose the right to change um the right to be wrong the right to sin and apologize and not apologize well, and to not to apologize or not apologize, um, it, the right to be human, fully human, all the different forms of human. Uh, it doesn't mean that 
you know, we go around loving a hateful state or an angry state, but they are a part of who we are, an instinctual state. Um, we've, we should understand them. Uh, too long have, in the keys of magic, they told people that they have to, to kill their ego or suppress their ego or beat their ego up. And all these create perversions of yep. the mind. Yep. And That's attachments to form, attachments to non-form. Mm-hmm. Attachments to void, attachments to, to voidlessness. Well, uh, I, will, I will give it a lot of merit. There is a lot of pa- no of pain, no merit. Gain. Well, there's no pain, no gain, and then there's scarification in many cultures, and we view that as really messed up. But you have to break the plasma. Some people do, I'm saying. Okay. I mean, I, I think it's crazy. It's hard to think of, but then it makes a lot of sense because you got to break the plasmoids and chains of some other systems that have preponderant um, mind modalities over your forms and what you're doing and your actions and you have in order to change your actions a lot of the way you, a lot of the time you got to change your thoughts in order to change your thoughts you got to change your actions and and they go hand in hand when the sun's ready to take us all it's going to use us as filaments and pull us all back in you know or disperse us to different planets or you know become different life forms we have to realize that that there is a larger circuit do you want to go into that circuit when we when we die do you how do you go into the circuit i mean the, these are fundamentals of religions and philosophies well, i certainly practice. wish people would but i don't know if i want to go as far as saying they have to but that's, that's a part of know. over from my buddhistic side right i mean i don't know if it's good to go into the light you know like because that's or, or like when when you die to go into the tunnel of light, you know. But I've well, also that's chosen. But there's a Tao of the left and a Tao of the right. I mean, there's there's a you can Tao in either direction. I've I've made my choice, uh, and that that choice is an active choice. I'd be extremely excellent at the other side. Sometimes I'm pissed off that I'm not. But <laughs> that's well, because you know, rules we could make different. a lot of money if we did some bad stuff. You know what I mean? All of us can, and that's oh, the I'd thing. Be- Smart people I'd be really need, good at it. <laughs> yeah, smart people need to do the right thing. That's why it's so important to have, yeah. you no, know, control and self-discipline. Yeah, so important. You know, these are things that a lot of people don't talk about. Even on podcasts nowadays, I don't hear any of this stuff. And it's just like, come on, let's go back to the basics, guys. Let's come on, let's let's get a collective here. Let's talk. Well, Jordan about Peterson it. talks about it. <laughs> What's that? Jordan Peterson talks about it, and uh, oh, yeah, not, too many, him right now. <laughs> not not too, not too many other than Jordan Peterson, unfortunately. Right. He, but he's a clinical psychologist, which is why, and and uh, and and so he cares deeply about the psyche. Yeah. But a lot of people, they may not want to connect right away, and so I, I do think that we have to plan a little bit for the possibility that evangelicals or radical Muslims or other groups that are staunchly ingrained may not want to agree or uh, they could be big bang theorists um, or dark energy sorcerers that that you know the dark energy and dark matter schools may be around for a thousand years I mean the you think about how much money's been put in it the the uh, distortions of those um, cosmologies could yeah. actually last. I mean, look at how long uh, you know, external external alchemy has has lasted right. thousands of years. So, well, it's always been protected too by what it looks like as nefarious um, nefarious cults, which could be a front just to protect the truth. Exactly. People you know, always I, are interested in these dark paths, man. I mean, you yeah. know, Alex Valley made a whole career out of it. Right. Well, I mean, that's the whole space. Everything space is dark uh, with dark history, weird uh, strangeness. So um, I, 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 I feel that in order to provide that balance um, in a time when there is such an expansion of obsession with darkness, uh, we do have to uh, cosmic there. Chris, I guess is your name. Chris was talking about the sacred feminine in so many words. Um, and we have to help people differentiate between darkness and the, the, the fundamental darkness of principle and between the sacred feminine space because there is such an assault on sacred femininity. Um, 
and I do know people, I know women who actually teach how to be a sacred mystical feminine and it is a specialty and it is something that has to be shared because it is just not encouraged. You know, the media does not encourage it and um, it's harmful to boys and girls that it is, it is destroyed. When that's destroyed, it actually harms the sacred, uh, the warrior pack. Uh, well, you, can you we get the reverse there too? Can, if we t if we go back to what we were talking about earlier in this episode, we were talking about um, if uh, living in the now and that collective fabric of what everybody's thinking at the exact same moment is what the Catholic Church does at Mass because it's always the same. Um, it's, it's always the the same uh, sermon, but preached by different pastors or whatever um, priests across. The Surely the power of now is powerful, but I also powerful. think that it is a dangerous uh, ideology. But right, but I, it is, and I was talking about how it was dangerous earlier too. So, um, but it is. It's it's a minefield, and yes. and and the and if you can get everybody to watch a, a Super Bowl or everybody to watch Netflix or everybody to watch this show, think of how dark Netflix. Uh, the shows are on Netflix, and everybody loves them. I'm saying almost everybody loves well, I them. I some darkness now, but I don't watch hor horror or um, snuff or anything like you that. Know, I didn't watch any of that Viking. You gotta show. taste some darkness in order to understand it. I mean, they're, 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 you gotta know what evil is. So oh yeah, you, yeah, you gotta know your. You gotta know what it is for sure. Yeah. If it's your enemy, pray for your enemy. You know, just just in general. Pray for the health, the the health of the healing of the the um, mycelial network, the human mycelial network, the human yeah, network. For the immune system, the mutual psych psychic immune system. Right. Um. So dark mode plasma, yeah, that's you know, it's that's a thing, and yes, uh, it is absolutely, and it and it also implies that there is a. Uh, an anti-dark mode that is also not light mode. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because of the polars, because of the way polars work. And we yeah. we really don't, we wouldn't know what the anti-dark mode, I mean, are, is it some kind of uh, extra dimensional sort of dark mode? Are we talking like how they have negative temperatures that go below zero Kelvin? Is it some kind of science trick? Um, is it an antimatter uh, sort of situation? Like there's an antimatter plasma we don't know and because it's not something that we can easily empirically study so but we know from the mathematics that there must be these different forms of the polar and they're all part of the universe so we have to accept them whether or not we love them is a different matter but, but um uh, we, we at least need to accept them but in this this fight for the the cosmology there is a concrete past uh, that really happened to humanity and it really has shaped us and there is a subversion and who knows who's in charge of that subversion game but it is something that I think that the obsession with dark matter and dark energy um, although they exist in the abstraction if we can say that the abstract universe is is uh, concretely real mathematically but not concretely real physically like I could in, I can imagine steel that is lighter than cotton but whether or not that actually exists probably not um at the same time you can imagine it so un, in the but data somewhere but it, but it does steel stronger than cotton is silk no no not, not stronger i said lighter oh it's both lighter and stronger silk well okay but yeah but i mean iron steel i mean steel actually now we do have transparent aluminum which is funny because in the Star Wars text, uh, the the uh, extended universe, one of the big uh, sci-fi components of that entire extended universe in the uh, under is called transparasteel, and I always thought, wow, how amazing would it be if we had steel buildings that were completely clear? And transparent aluminum was invented only a few years ago, and I thought, wow. So you know, we shouldn't assume that it's not possible, but right. But it, uh, it is possible that steel, uh, steel lighter than cotton does not exist concretely, um, but in the mathematics, it must exist on some plane. But that does not mean science should spend billions of dollars chasing it down. That's all I'm saying. 
Um, There's a lot of things like that, by the way, in genetics and uh, everything. And and the question is, is it is it furthering life sciences on? Is it answering the basic issue? Are people clothed, loved, fed, um, under a roof? Can they get access to some basic medicine, herbs? Um, and and I'm not so sure that the billions that we've spent in that direction. However, that doesn't mean that it's going nowhere. Those billions, who knows? I mean, all that debt, maybe it goes to a bank account on the other side, some flip side. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't, you know, you can't create something out of nothing. So where is that energy being transformed to? What purposes? And are they dark purposes or is it just ignorance and ignorance is its own darkness? So is it well, fundamental darkness or is it just the darkness of ignorance? That's a good question. Let's look at uh, solar flares and um, and people who've been affected by them. Uh, uh, illuminates, illuminaries, uh, cosmic illuminates like Walter Russell being affected by solar flares uh, and during his vision and during my vision and other people in history, maybe Giordano Bruno, maybe other people, um, they didn't know that this was happening. But if you go back and you study all of the, uh, the solar, large solar flares and things like that, it goes back to times when people are single individuals with ideas transform cultures um, because they're radical thinkers, they're free radicals. Now, uh, they're always talking about trying to get rid of free radicals in your body, free radical that, it's bad to hear. No, a free radical is good, or in this sense at least. Um, and the United States used to be filled with free radicals. The whole world did. Um, you know, throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, while this plan was being drafted to close in on people and keep them out of large parts of the United States and the world, uh, section and sanction it off for ecological purposes. This is going to happen through ecological means uh, and saying that we have to, in order to stay in harmony with nature, you can't go in this area, the parks, the beaches, you can't go anywhere pretty much. We went through this list last year, wait till the next three, five, eight years, the cycles are gonna um, uh, get worse and worse and the fractal symmetry of the recursions of this, allowing this, our acquiescence to this, um, Edward Snowden telling us we've been spied on and we didn't care and we never stood up for ourselves then, so we're not going to stand up for ourselves now kind of mentality. Um, well, then. ignorance is not new. I, I want to differentiate here about something because you'll hear people make statements about how much worse things are than when... No, that's not true. It's not concre concretely true. There is more awareness of worse things, but there is actually... Um, the statistics are uh, wonderful on many levels but um in the old days when people were ignorant there was no fact checkers there was nobody with phones or cameras there was no way to aggravate each other so people had to accept each other and they would do rumor mills and gossip mills on occasion of course they would do the whole monty python get the pitchforks and burn them or uh or start up a, a but most of the time in the old days in ancient villages, they had certain characters who played their parts. They had the village idiots. They had the, the people who were somewhat special, what they call touched uh, in the South. Um, you had the, the, in the Native Americans, they called the, uh, you know, the Heoki, right? He rides backwards. The, 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 the uh, what is that called? The, the outlaw. And, um, you had, uh, of course, the, the uh, county gossip. You had the matron who dominated other women. You had the man who had the barrel chest. You had all of those archetypes. Everything filled a role. What we have now is so inter-networked that these niches bump up against each other and there's competition in spaces there didn't used to be competition in because you can have competition on Instagram, whereas you may not ever meet that person. 
And I, when we when when we were in high school, um, we had a friend named Jennifer, and she was uh, she was obese, and she was uh, our friend, and so we sided with her. But then Karen came along, and her name was literally Karen. I'm not being a mean memer here. And Karen loved to do everything Jennifer did, and it drove Jennifer nuts. And the the further it went, the more Jennifer started lying, and she eventually uh, got involved in one of those. Um, she pretended to be someone else uh, kind of thing. This is back in the old days, an instant message, her boyfriend who happened to be gay, but he didn't know that yet. And um, so she she uh, started manipulating him and we all found out she was a chronic liar. Now, when I grew up, we, we of course, uh, for, for, we threw her out of the, our group. When I grew up, I came to understand that Karen had displaced on a biological level. It wasn't malevolent per se, but it, every, Every boy that Jennifer was interested in, Karen became interested. Every job she went and had, the clothes, everything. And, and she was actively competing with her on a biological level and displacing her from that. And it caused imbal- imbalance in Jennifer. Wow. So yeah. her, her chronic lying was a small habit when she was, a, she was probably a normal teenager who lied. Yeah. And then she became a true chronic liar. She didn't know up from down. You couldn't trust anything she said. And uh, that that is that is a biological competition. Um, it did have to do with you know Karen was not as obese. Uh, she was a little bit better in social uh, society. Um, Jennifer felt very insecure, and uh, so these kinds of things are now capable on all the levels. So you have kids experiencing cyberbullying as if it is a. Uh, a square of what they would experience in middle and high school. I mean, who hasn't been shoved into a locker in middle or high school? Um, and if you haven't, there's a good chance you're the person who was doing the shoving. So the equivalent now is that people's base na- basic natures are able to come out. And every generation starts off ignorant. Every generation. That's, that's the disadvantage of humanity uh, versus an AI. The AI will always get smarter. And uh, we will have to apparently compete with the ignorance of creating on our, our own brainchild, which will outcompete us. Um, and we well, will have to become at better at becoming less ignorant quickly. I mean, a lot quicker. People will have to become less ignorant by age 10 than in any days in the past when people just didn't know anything and they didn't know that they didn't know. The one thing they knew was the oral traditions. That's it. Other than that, they didn't know. They didn't have news. They didn't have radio. They didn't have anything. But they got along because they found their place. We're, 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 um, we're in a time where there's a lot of displacement. Some of that is, of course, agenda-driven, uh, pushing, pushing uh, money here or votes here. Or, you know, Tell these people to, to vote and don't tell these people to vote. I mean, that's all... Uh, basically the biology is just continuing but now with leverage a lot more is capable and uh, that is the that is the i guess the curse of knowledge as well as the blessing of knowledge dude this structure that's right here look it's in the doherty set this is it this Which is how street the, according to um uh Bernoulli's flow principle for hydrodynamics, right. opening up circuit, uh, everything works according to this too. If even streets, we have to make them that way. Larger feeds the smaller, feeds the smaller. Yeah. Did I ever tell you I'm obsessed with Bernoulli's principle? I don't know if I've ever said that. Me too. No, I didn't know you were, but yeah, I, I, I've had and visions. And the an like, I, you know, Dude. the, the two. But I like Boyle's Law and, and I like Bernoulli's principle. I'm obsessed and buoyancy. And yeah. I'm obsessed on a metaphysical level as well as, and, and I teach these things to my kids and it probably drives them crazy because I repeat it every, every few months and, and, and go, go over it over and over again. Yeah, it's, it's, it's important. I have had uh, very fundamental visions and dreams, understanding um, the efficient energy distribution inside of uh, networks. Uh, according, this is all Bernoulli's principle, you know, all these flowing cascading networks that we're showing here are Bernoulli's principle 
even your brain and the way that it works and pushes electricity from place to place with the larger circuitry of your heart that's powering it. Well, I think, I think my obsession from that um, comes from the, the concept of gradients and curl and divergence. Chris, yeah. did you, you unmuted. Were you going to say something? I'm sorry, what was that? You unmuted a second ago, and, and I was interested to hear your, your thoughts. But uh, Just in terms of Bernoulli and, and uh, the fundamental of the, the hyper, hyperspace in the, the lemnus gate, the Bernoulli lemnus gate. Yeah, I'd call this. If a you haven't book. looked at it, look at it. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I would call something like the, these Bernoulli laminous gates too. I mean, if you look at the double eight, but let's look at it. That's, that's where that's where Mobius comes from. Okay. That's where the 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 monad is converted from the zero, right, to the infinity symbol is through Mobius. It's through um, the eigenvalue eigenvectors. Yeah, the two and the three are fundamental to everything. Man. You know, I keep harping on about that, but do actually the lemniscate, Bernoulli lemniscate, because it's they, they you don't always get the same information if you just do lemniscate. Yeah. But I can show you how the Pope's casket, believe it or not, which is built out of pine to reflect the symbology between our pine cone pineals, right? The the trapezoidal geometry of their the casket, really important. Yeah, you show this almost on every uh, episode. Thank you for reiterating yeah. this, the central axial flow here, because this flowometry or rheometry can can and does uh, open up the torus to become anything and everything that it that it is, because it's the it it. it, it it itself, you can draw, you can do the figure eight and start drawing all sorts of crazy stuff just doing figure eights, opening and closing uh, your gap, your gate. It's fun. What, what that is right there, buddy, is um, what we're about to experience. That's the flip. It really is. That's the X. That's uh, Tav 22 in the Hebrew alphabet of the 22nd letter. Um, it's in my model, it's, you know, the, the Egyptian pyramid is pi 22 over seven. It's the symmetry. Um, the mirror is, is what you're seeing there. It's that mirror so action. So you think what, how nine gets inverted to six, inverted so and mirror. The seven year tribulation is coming up in December, starting December. No, to 2024 is when this happens, when the, the flip happens, the, okay. But again, everything is cycles within cycles, right? So what, what this year really is, it initiates the last four, fourness in a 12ness. And that 12ness began in 2012. Um, this is essentially the, the second 12 cycle from the year 2000 was the first 12, 12 cycle was 2012, December 21st. Mm -hmm. And the close of that cycle is um, the 2024 on your birthday. Congratulations. Oh, my birthday. I'm a birth I'm having a global <laughs> birthday party, by the way. Um, we're all going to be there for it because we live here. <laughs> and you know what really sold that for me was um, the 24th term of the Fibonacci sequence, which is four, six, six, eight. And now that, that's when I knew that is because Fibonacci is a maturation. The 12th term of 144 is a maturation of a 12th, 12th cycle in the Zodiac. That's what the fool's journey is all about, right? And um, so, yeah, it's all that. That's everything, man. The law of time in 24, 24,000 years is what we're coming up against. And the, the whole yeah. point of this is, is fundamental to, to the 12 singing spheres, 12 dimensions, right? And that. 10, 11, 12 are the, in my ontology, or the Ein, Ein, Sof, Ein, Sof, or the part that, the, tr the trinity that isn't here, through which all of this comes, because it's an outside-in kind of thing. Wow. That perturbation, that fundamental, the uh, infinitesimal perturbation, it, it creates the outside, right, through the, the masculine polarization. It creates that polarization through which magnetism, the Magi, right, Magdalene, 
wants to pull it back to God. Magician. And fundamentally, that's where we're at on a, on a cosmic scale, right? We're at that extremes of, of the masculine, electric, polarizing, red-blue. We're at the extremes of that, about to do that shift and go back to God, back to source in the, in the feminine, right? The centripetal. Um, in that hot, cold cycle that Walter Russell talked about, which I just see as um, temperature and pressure are inverse relationships. And it's this yin yang is just temperature converting to pressure while pressure converts to temperature in the, the doubling having octaves and semitones. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pinches in the ether, it's the perturbations. Um, and we are we're experiencing a flip a polar reversal and it's, it's an octave we're, we're jumping an octave right that's when the sands of cymatic shift the shift that we're going through right now on a massive scale right is that we are the sands, right and right now we are resonating we're on the internet together working in common frequencies and resonance right towards a, a future um we're, we're preparing those that geometry that's like you were saying before the thought forms right we're creating those those thought forms that will be populated after that this new energy this new cycle happens but again it's always overlapping cycles just like the vesica pisces overlaps right uh, why prime numbers are so important is it defines the remainders right you've got pure pure ratio and then you've got decimal equivalence and the matrix is, is, a fun, is fundamentally in binary code based on the remainders, right? It's the one third that fell from God's grace. There's a seven remainder that we don't account for, and it, it carries through every decimal. And that's, in my ontology, is what we're in right now is the remainders. There's no remainders in prime numbers, and that's why they're so powerful. And we're going in the quickening, and we're going in the quickening towards the center, and then it's going to yep. flip on the 2024 April 8th and then start coming back up this way. And those are just ages there. That's the foreignness, right? You've got the fundamental foreignness is birth, growth, decay, death, but you've also got the phases like of a year of uh, uh, winter, summer, spring, fall, right? It's um, those are those same energies. just massive. And it happens at every scale. The 12ness is in the second, right? The 12ness is in the minute and those, those four essences are, are nested inside of all of that. Everything is. Everything's got the fundamental 12 nested at every scale in the center of it. Indeed, I can also show and back up what you're talking about with the um, axial alignment, which I call the gyroscopic uh, nature of the wave, how the wave moves. I love it which is what Russell was talking about. That's how you get to understand the universe. Um, but you get to understand the beginning and the beginning of the universe by understanding the now of the universe and the gyroscopic principles of uh, sex mated pairs. And these, when, when you start understanding what he meant, and that's why we started building uh, the hydro, large hydrogen collider to try to get towards these absolute zeros and the, uh, um, the uh, inert gases that Russell talked about, and uh, and the the which led to the nuclear bomb that we found, um, because that's how he got his doctorate. I don't know if people want if people want to know the truth, they can go look it up. But yeah, Russell, Walter Russell is the man. Russell showed us the transuranium elements on his chart, the helical chart of compression and rarefaction. And the, uh, due to the octaves where they nest, he showed us there's other uh, uh, elements, and he predicted four of them. They didn't give him credit and didn't name the elements that he named them. Mm -hmm. But they were the transuranium elements, and that's how we got to the nuclear bomb. And, uh, and so maybe it's better that they hide it, uh, you know, because Russell doesn't want to be known for that because he, he didn't, it was inadvertently just, you know, the stuff that I'm showing is going to lead to all sorts of stuff, good and bad, just like the stuff Russell was showing leads to. And now it's time now. Now you it's know, time. 
you can't avoid you can't avoid what's going to happen to the information that you have you have to publish or perish give it out or you can try to go the route of uh getting it patented and risk uh, that's a fool there them saying that you can't that you can't publish it and then you're like what and they're like it's you know it's it's declass it's classified information and you're like what i found this and they're like well not anymore so you gotta just you know if you have something beautiful to share with the universe that you're meant to get out there and be the voice you know you have a voice for a reason there's plenty of ways to get out there hopefully i'm i'm blessing you with your flow in the universe here everybody to get out with their voice and be able to talk about what what is happening in a coherent cognizant manner absolutely uh, buddy we all have a feat <laughs> yeah. and we all have something to contribute yeah but it takes work to find out what that is yeah i mean you know i don't know the end all be all of all my beautiful work that I have to share with people but I knew that if I started writing books it would take forever I have too many so now I have I have a series of seven a s one and then a series of children's books so like I mean there's just so much information that needs to be out there and people need to be able to uh, present it precisely indecisively cognitively cognizantly you know um, and be alert be vigilant be useful as a, a, a an agent of change and awareness and beauty in the world there's no movement here just be you know be yourself remember yeah and remember everything your whole life it teaches you lessons see to it that what you heard from the beginning remains in you see to it that everything that happens to you remains in you as a reminder because it's a reminder of this life and life's to come. We have a destiny here on earth and it's to spread uh, all sorts of different stuff. So be the person that needs to spread the information that's in your heart, you know? So on that note, guys, it's almost 420. Um, there's a a, a weed festival here in the in Michigan <laughs> and it's the first legal weed festival that's like open enjoy while you can man I know right so it's like maybe yeah. it might be my first and last so <laughs> <laughs> why um, is it gets a t-shirt is it on the chopping block or something I mean no, no it's just, it's not, society's been canceled haven't you heard? society you can't come together oh, oh yeah over, that's, over that's right Loads of loads of people are participating in uh, in uh, open mind. Right, I forgot about that. Sorry. Yeah. Except for protesting, that's the only thing that's allowed. <laughs> but there's a lot of free souls out there. So I'm um, speaking to you. I'm looking at you, and uh, to all you other people, uh, there's I, the free. I've yourself. already I've already done my part to go out and and defy the governor. So uh, <laughs> and I'll continue. I'll just continuously be defying the governor. Don't worry. <laughs> you, you have a voice politically. Don't let your voice be stifled by some uh, some virus here. So I never have. Never. It's right on our on our blog. And you know what? I haven't lost that I know of any any customers. And um, they're they're easily able to read the the blog. I mean, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. So we'll I'd, see. I'd like to add, add one thing in terms of uh, Buckminster Fuller. You know, in the whole resist movement is is resistance really is futile and what we're doing is really the secret um is just building a new future um and let the old one go to the wayside where it's already heading and not not put put energy into the i see both sides I, there's... Yeah, no it's, it, it has to be right i'm just saying um in terms of the balance right now there's not a lot of people that are focused on creating because they don't they, they're they're stuck in scarcity consciousness um, we understand what's possible, right? And so, yeah, they have to, because again, that part of what well, reality has to be here for us to be here. And we're, we're all reaching consensus now. Dude, so I had to get, I had to get electroshock therapy when I broke my arm. I'm an amputee survivor and my arm works. And um, I had a miracle doctor 
when I was like seven, eight. Um, and I couldn't use my arm at all. And like everything had to be reconnected. And, um, and I tried and tried and tried forever and ever and ever. And they kept electroshocking my arm and, and like checking my fingernail, checking to see if it was gonna, if I get any blood flow finally to my fingertips. And eventually one day, finally, I moved my pinky and then we worked from there and uh, I, my arm's fine. You know, I have no, no problem. I had a miracle doctor. I broke it. Like they said it was the worst broken arm that U of M hospital ever seen. And they're the medical hospital, you know, that's where I went. And I, uh, yeah, I had a great doctor, but if you think about um, like consciousness, and as pinches and willingness to like not be dead after you're dead and you want to come back and your message, your message isn't fulfilled yet. And you think of the universe as, um, the one, one fibrous agent called the global electric circuit and all this stuff is happening. And this is all dark. This is all like dark mode plasma that surrounds people. And that's like the aura that people see, but um, some people see it. You, some people can see parts of it or whatever. Curling photography is like so so whatever. But this is like more of the the uh, electrical phase. This is why like that before a lot of people die, there's um, there's a grim reaper and a feeling because the field is coming. The field is coming for someone, and someone else feels it, or that person feels it global electric circuit changes and things are become weird and strange and your gut bacteria microbiome changes and there's the the grim reaper and spirits and the world and the universe uh the global electric circuit the the um solar electric circuit and the galactic electric circuit are working together for a larger circuit and really n nobody knows exactly what it's for or what's going on but we need to recognize that it's all part of the same system and uh thoughts um add to the color of the stream of the system and the more you think about something the more it manifests whether you manifest in your life or someone else's life so these thought fibers that you have lead to the realities and they lead a ahead and out of your body. And as like uh, Donnie Darko, when you have those, the plasma tubes coming out of your body and you feel like you're led on a quest or you feel like you don't belong here or you're an alien, because none of us belong here. We're all aliens and we all have a larger message from a global and a solar and a galactic electric circuit that's trying to speak these languages into existence. And that's why so many voices are so important and so many different perspectives are so important because that allows us to see what the fiber really wants, what the fiber really needs. Um, how the fiber is held together, and I'm talking about our mycelial fiber as humans, um, connected to a larger fiber that's connected to all the other creatures on the planet, uh, that's connected to the sun with uh, uh, space lightning and telluric currents under the ground, under the earth. This is all part of the circuitry, and we're just we're just a charged layer that's on the top of a charged ball. That happens to um, chart that's charged up for life on this sphere, life in this form. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're on a mem we're on a membrane. We're, we're, we're on a membrane. Yeah, we're member membranous uh, fluid. What's that? Sac with that's their, why I said remember. Ultimately, spirit, and we're existing in a membranic experience, and we've got to we got to remember our precarious position and actually. Uh, to some degree, no matter where you are, how developed you are, you got to care a little bit because <laughs> otherwise the membrane won't need you anymore, you know? Yeah, and that's what karma is. And I think we came to that rev revelation earlier. I mean, you want to be part of the circuit, right? You know, the, leader, the leaders that are part of the circuit, there's a bow shock 
you know, and there's a leaders that are part of the circuit and there's a pinch at the circuit and there's gatekeepers at the circuit at the front of the circuit and every system is a circuit. So every person is a circuit, every company is a circuit and can be thought of in the same way. And the people are this at the front and the tip of it are the CEOs, the people who built it. Um, but they are up here at, at, as the cloud, um, as the cloud that's not responsible, the too big to fail company. And the charge now has been disseminated to thousands of beacons of light, thousand points of light. Sound familiar. Uh, sounds familiar, right? Exactly. So if using their own language or the own language of the United Nations, which is our own language of the world, which is we need to realize we're global filament. And if we're speaking the same language, we need to talk the same language and talk it to them and talk about it. Them, I'd like to touch on, on what, what Ramon said about caring in, in the Bohemians that do rituals called cremation of care. Right. Like if there's, that is the antithesis to what he's talking about. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's, that's true. And who knows how deep of a psyop all that whole thing is and how real. No good that is. I, think, I think they care about stuff, but it's the anti-science. Um, in the Gunderson files, in the, in the very beginning, he talks about the mechanisms. And it struck on me within the first, I don't know, 20 pages of that, that a lot of the science is actually similar in the chemical output as acupuncture, just the evil version. <laughs> yep. So they're um, in, in uh, Chinese, um, like martial arts, there is a, one of the downsides is some people undergo we, something we call Qigong psychosis. And they begin to actually think that they're invincible. The internet's replete with examples of people who think that by breathing deeply that they can withstand knives, bullets, boxers, um, cars, whatever. And it's they a famous problem in Chinese history. So I think that a lot of these elites get the same psychotic resultant from the same chemicals, but through the darker path. Well, if you look at... Um, the patents that are owned right now by Starbucks, Spotify, and uh, the genetic company that they also own, the conglomerate of the, the three, um, genetics.com or something like that. Um, you, and you look at what they're gearing towards, they're gearing towards earworms that are going to change your thoughts by, at, at a violent um, type of, uh, we've heard of rap, okay, we've heard of binaural beats, we've heard of earworms, we've heard of all sorts of things, but when you gear it up to the next notch and you have the person's DNA and you have their person's um, uh, membrane of their culture and they play the songs of the membrane of the culture to the person and uh, and between it all uh, put cravings for their coffee, which is also like, unfortunately, uh, it's not made with good products. Uh, well, right, not, right. Oh, surprise, surprise. The company engaging in black magic is interested in using uh, unwholesome foods. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to harp too much on a company and be the guy that's like, hey, you know, because I've, I've shopped there and um, occasionally do when I'm in the bookstore. So, well, uh, hell, man, I watch action films, but I don't go shoot people in the, you know, and it just all over the place is shooting people. So, just because you shop at a place doesn't mean you, you know, actually believe that you're supporting black magic. But okay, um, so we have to be aware no. at least on some level that that this stuff is happening. You know, there is blood and ritual sacrifice uh, from anywhere from the animal industry to the biogenetic lab to Bohemian Grove. There is a traditional history. We know, of course, it goes back to Baal in Jupiter and uh, the whole Abraham Isaac kind of uh, motif. Um, and and uh, it's going to take time. You mentioned scarification earlier. You know, there's a tribe in, um, I believe it's in the French Indochina, but it might be in the archipelagos. 
And there they have a they have no more women doing the traditional scarification and tattooing and uh, uh, neck elongating. And now in the tribe's history, that's how you became a beautiful woman. So from the these uh, women over 40 to 50 perspective, all the young women are not beautiful yet. And they go away and um, many of them don't come back because they go to the city, like they'll go to Bangkok or wherever. And they, they just don't come back. And so they People don't go through the joke. People think it's a joke, but like. Um, well, it's a real, it's a real loss of culture. And, yeah. but the point is that, that that had its time. It came of course from the cataclysmic period and it exists for a time and then it goes away and it'll be quiescent. and everything has that. It, it comes, it flourishes, it wanes, it disappears and it's quiescent for a, a period. So yeah. that's gonna happen for a lot of things. I don't know I if it's good or bad, but half the world's languages have gone extinct. Yeah, everything's ebbing and flowing, but let me talk about like a space bridge, building a space bridge using Birkeland currents and the geometry of the Doherty you know, set. You bring that up, and that is exactly the section of the second book of uh, the three body problem. The second book's called The Dark Forest. That's exactly the chapter that they're on. They're, the humans are building the nanotube bridge up to space so that they can meet the Trisolarians in battle. It's so funny. That's what a, I, it, like you just shifted to that, and <laughs> it's like, wow. Well, my, I do have really strange, um, ironic. Um, Let's just uh, intuition, extremely yeah. like weird. Like I'll post something, and then all the science articles will start. Posting I was going to mention the book earlier, and and I didn't. Uh, and and now you're so it's just so funny. Okay, anyways. So let's look at this as a space bridge. If we want to build a bridge from um, the Earth and take everything from the Earth uh, to a different uh, planet. For planetary colonization using some sort of uh, information type of system and not uh, an information holographic type system and not a actual physical copy other than space DNA um, so all right now mm -hmm. envision the envision the earth uh, the outer layer of this is just this is just the earth this is the earth so uh, in order to take all the information you take the majority of the um, the what it's based out of the the four types of elements that are the most fundamental inside of the system and those are uh, those become uh, I would assume maybe the most outer, but it could be the most inner in the core, but most likely not because the way that I understand the way this worked out through my body is that the heavy metals can't even get through this. So good luck getting the poisonous heavy metals from one system to the next. I don't know how the poison, I don't know how the heavy metals get there. Maybe they accrete through charge once the system gets there, but for whatever reason, the heavy metals can't come. And this is like a combination of my vision, intuition, and um, like actually experiencing it as a physical person uh, through a ketamine trip. I'll be honest. Um, so, but it was also how I placed the twelve stones that uh, that I got for that are the same twelve stones as the New Jerusalem on the twelve directions of the Doherty set in in correct order. And then I did a K trip with a friend of mine and um, this, this allow this, whatever happened, you know, I mean, I was, I was conscious and resonant and like, I didn't know what was going to happen, but all of the, uh, all of the elements in the earth came through my fingertips. And, and this was like the, the, this is the very, pinnacle of the beatitudes of dactyl adornment that happened to my hands but because it's been a process um as most things are we're a process crystal so we go through structural growth and visceral growth so this and this vision and what happened literally to me was all of the uh elements came out of my hands and out of my fingertips 
and they they are created out of my hands and i've been studying like tibetan stuff having to do with mudras and things like that and like uh, something having to do with healing hands i mean like dude the power is in your hands i'm telling you so anyway um this happened and none of the heavy metals came through my hands for whatever reason but almost everything else was um was allowed to move through my hands so it was like a physical growing type of like earth real rel revelation of being a universal creature so let me take that and astral project that idea to taking the earth turning the earth into um uh nested collimated cylinders as Birkeland currents work because there's a reason why Birkeland currents are there in the first place because this is how information moves from one system to another and if you think that we don't have ideas ideas have us and all night ideas have us and we can guard our heart for it is the wellspring of all uh life um but we have to inf we have to be aware that we have to guard our minds to our mind fields but what do you dream about before night? You know, what do you do before night? How do you wake up in the morning? How is your day designed? There's a design here. So you can get in these filaments in many different ways. That's why rituals, I think, are so important and so prevalent um, in tradition because that's the vessel function. Oh, I did it last year, solar cycle. I'll do it again this year, solar cycle. Oh, I'll do it again next year, solar cycle. Tradition, religion, tradition, re you know, repetition, fractal. Everything's fractal on all scales, but try to find something that's not fractal and approach me with it and say it's not, and we'll talk about it because I've been trying to figure out that too. So let's say this is water, earth projecting to another system, water on the outside, um, or hydrogen. Uh, you'd have hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen on like the first three, and then maybe, I don't know, carbon. So that you'd have the first four inside of this tube that would be the first four layers of the Birkeland current to move all the information so automatically it would be saturated in like a water it would be water it would be like a super fluid and you'd have we'd be moving through the super fluid as as information condensed condensate into its um, invisible form uh, dark mode plasma and in these dark mode plasmas you wouldn't even see it and every once in a while uh, the plasma would go to a star because it has to go from star to star as a filament um, and either refuel or inject the information or disseminate the ideas to that planet one planet to the other so many people are tuning into different creatures in the sky and they've always been channeling to all the sorts of different things, you know, test the spirits, find the Holy Spirit, do whatever, you know, look, channel different beings. But it's like they do it. We do it. We're, cre we're part of the same creature. We're the organ. We're the organism. So if we're going to talk about the organism, let's talk about us. And so many people are doing this. Um, contacting these what they're called archons and like uh like different dna's out in the hierarchical dna thought fields and thought forms that people think are um plaguing certain people with certain malevolent things to do certain things i mean all movies are as ideas and ide movies change people's lives and reformat culture so as cultural creatives, we have to be the movie for other people to see and witness. And that's what cult creative people do. And, you know, um, content creators, uh, they, they transcend what was and show the new. Um, so there's a lot of news happening. Let's not, let's not conform to only one or two news. You know, don't watch. Oh, speaking of news, what news are we watching? What news are you watching? So that's my little rant.
I got to get going though, guys, because I got to get. No to worries. This. Yeah, I was going to, I mean, I, I basically finished my work, uh, all the work I can do down here. And um, I do have an update on the presentation. I've selected an event uh, planner and I've selected, uh, I'm going to use Zoom Room for the conference call. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to donate the ticket sales to the Ancient Kentucky Association. Uh, which has a lot of seniors in it, and it's probably been pretty hard on them not being able to meet. Uh, and it's just, you know, hard on, a, on an organization like that where the membership is more shrinking than growing. Yeah. And so um, uh, it will, the, the 40 slides are done. And so uh, Michael and um, Michael Claridge and Gareth uh, have said that they will be um, guest experts uh, and, uh, for the Q&A portion. Nice. So it'll be Congratulations. end of July uh, is the goal. The hard part is Gareth is so many hours ahead. So, but um, I'll uh, be uh, willing to share that and uh, hopefully we get some people going. It It's all about Shamash and uh, our original Dwarf Star. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a, a memorable kind of event. So. Well, Just thank you. That. No problem. It's been, uh, I was outlining the paper and um, it's going to give me gray hairs, buddy. It's, it's, it's got so many, <laughs> it's going to take me three months to write it. It's, it's, it's going to be a monster. Well, it's, it'll, it'll, it'll be, it'll be up there with the magnetic universe and the um, megafauna. It'll probably be more up there with the megafauna uh, extinction uh, paper. It's going to be, it's going to be quite the, um, the work <laughs> good so. good man well it's it's i'm thankful for people like you in the universe uh working really hard to make this information known you know um but no guys I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it because i gotta go to the store uh, have a good night fellas this early you too Chris, have a good night all right love you guys thanks for being here thanks see you next love week you too, bye. all right have a good thanks. Bye, guys. Peace, Chris. see you remote thank you for tuning into the geometric view Episode 30, Season 3, The Geometry of Consciousness. Love is watching. Thank you for being here and doing that. It don't matter whether we're riding or whether we're driving as long as I'm riding with you. It don't matter whether we're riding or whether we're driving as long as I'm riding with you. It don't matter whether we're riding or whether we're driving as long as I'm riding with you. No matter whether we're riding or whether we're driving, as long as I'm riding with you. I don't want to be the person to burden you. Emergency's the first hand, urgency's the second hand. Supply and demand, to find a definitive intervention for me. Not a division code, but a source code. Not a kiss and a toad and a turn into a prince. Not a turtle and a herd, not a fair tale. Not a narrative, not a nursery rhyme. Not an aeroplane on a water plane. We are life in the tank of the truth. Parallel to perfect air and up a curtain tear and up a hair again. Nancy Kerrigan, fair skin, hair pins, nails, her tail spin. Sonic speed, honestly, all I need is the good weed and a beer.
masquerade us around All I am is infinity All that you can see All that we are All that we go to All that we are arranged into
this last song is Kites by Geographer.